Okay, good morning, everyone. Okay. Papa siguro, Papa siguro makamatang uba, no? It's it seems to be a very gloomy day. No? Good morning, Nina Diatanan. Good morning, Juday, no? Mapat sige. Ay, ko sa ubo, sir, ay ambot na lang gid ani ko, kiyawan nung ta ani, laban pa akong o. Ah, di man kana COVID. Wa ko kahi ba? Sembak ko po ka, sir, ay bahala na lang wa patay halin basta dita ma-COVID. Ah, dita ma-COVID, ay di lang gud gawas para dita ma-COVID. Dibay ako gawas, sir, exposed kay ko, sir. Awe, kaso basta palayo lang. Ah, hinaon sa bagay. Pero ako, sir, maad to raman kung kuka na magbayad kung bills. Di man, good-ingon nga. Na mag-grocery, ma, raman. Oh, basta palayo lang, good. Okay, raman na. Okay. Ako lang dyan yung ubo. Kay grabe, dugay naman niya kung ubo. Pamansan ni COVID, good. Ingon, ani man, good ko. Basta ubo, dugay kay mawa. Ah, okay na na siya kay... Ikaw man na ka na... Naman gano'y na, 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 mga... Karon panahon bugnaw init ubon man gyud ka ya, kay ba boya ka karon mo pa check up ta la covid na pag sure nila ba <laughs> ah, ayaw lang sa pa check up para di ta ma covid <laughs> wagi ko ri at hospital bitaw malargo bitaw tag malargo bitaw tag covid bisag ko pa ta ma covid logi but lang gid nila ay ah sige na ko inom ina tubig og lemoncito nagpalit na sa kong tambal sa ubo Inom taka atong kuan Vita Plus. Lagi ay na sawa man sa kuka purchase jud kay kalayo na mas center dim takalabang. Mo deliver si ko ni eh, Ligaya. Aw oh, ma'am guy ako abitaw nang sige pa days ma'am guy di ay. Oh dakay sa. Ako abitaw nang ako abitaw nang members niya. Yeah. Oh, online. Mo chat na nako sa hay mo mo tanag na pa ba koy kuan mo deliver. Ay naga oy nagamit dai ka? At usahin palit ko niya. Uy, nindot ba yung siya, sir, sa tirodanay lang. Kaya mo ba yung ikon siya hot water niya? Kung pwede dyan, nindot ba? Madeliver naman siya. Ah, okay. Mag-chat niya sa ikong ma'am gaya. Madeliver naman siya. Si ma'am Lynette, kaya kung ano dyan na siya, dahil hard siya ng Vita Plus, kaya anak mo na yung juice. Si Vicky kay Gastak Manana. Hmm. No? Mabe ay. Dugay siguro kamata ang uba, no? No? Kaya kung ano ka ng... Friday naman good weekend ano weekend na ba? Oh, weekend na. Kaya ako magjikas ni mo kaya naghuwat ako sa uban. Ah later ay, you know what? No um, it's it's month end already. No ah in fact this coming Tuesday is the last day of June, and time is so fast. No, we are already done with the half of the year. We are left with six months more to go. And 2020 is is all over. And I, I woke up early. Um, I I had my I had my morning devotion. And and the Lord brought me to to realization to a question, ba? Na, were you able to live a life of significance? Uh, were you able to live? I mean, six months have passed. What have you done? Were you able to live a life of significance? So, what is a life with significance, of significance? So, it's a life na ni impact other people's lives. It's a life that brought legacy to the one that you will leave behind. It's a life that, uh, that everybody wanted to imitate or follow. Oh. Or were you able to live a life according to what God have designed you to be? Uh, uh, then, uh, on, on, on my succeeding uh, 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 devotions, um, the question both uh, surface, what is it that God designed you to be? Uh, when 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 i flash back on the on the time of the book of genesis 
when God was crafting man in a miry clay, I was thinking, so kay naa sa mind ni Lord, no? So kay naa sa mind ni Lord na pag make niya sa man, so man, make lang niya para lang magtikaw-tikaw aning kalibutan na. So man, make lang niya para nalansita na ito na on. Oh. So, number one, wa mong po siya magkinahanglan, anak. Number two, di mong po siya KSP. No? And he doesn't need to. Oh, he doesn't need to. Kano? Kato ang ako lagi flashback ba na ako during that time na naghimo si Lord na ako dito. The going back to the book of Genesis. So may nasiyang may nanong nanong maghimo pa man sa tao na labad sa oh magsigig pangayo. Oh, sigig pangayo ay hatag hatag. Anong anong bagulbulan? Halos tanan reklamo. Kano maghimo pa man ko ani? But I don't need that. No, I, kung ako yung ginawa, wala ko kinahang na nana. Pero wala, wa, bisag asa o na kung pakli pakli kung biblia, di ko ka kita mga answer except for one. No, God did it all for the glory of His name. Morigyo, no, no other thing, no, no other thing. Whether whether we are bound for hell or uh, in which all of us are bound for hell in the first place, no, because all have seen man. No, in fact, mabito nang it's more beautiful kayo ang grace because we have done nothing. No, wakikwa kay gibuhat. No, you don't have to earn it. You don't have to do work something for it in order to to enjoy eternity with with God. So grace, gitcha. No, that's that's the beauty of grace. Yeah, plus na mina ako sa kanta nga amazing grace. Mura ko mura ko ingko na kanan. I on I only have one lifetime to live. Uh, ikaw ako. We only have one lifetime to live. There are no rewinds or no replay in this world. I mean, the day that we are born up to the day we die, there is only a one-way journey. Never can you negotiate with God and and ask God, "Na God, can I make a rewind ten years after uh, ten years ago?" No, we can't. So, it's a one-way journey. It's a one-way journey, and going back to my reflection that we are already at me at the middle of the month, and we are left with six months more to go before the year ends and goodbye 2020 and hello 2021. I was asking myself, what will I do every single minute of the day, every single day on the remaining days of 2020? That will that will contribute. To the changes that surrounds me, and even changes within me, sa ako ba personal, on sa kaha ako pwedeng buhaton, so that there would be changes within me and changes in the thing that surrounds me, on sa ang on sa ako pwedeng mabuhat para mo impact. Ako siyang share sa inyo ha because, but ever since the time we started the PPI, it has always been the intent of the company. To impact other people's lives, no, it has always been the intent. It has always been the desire of the company to help other people um, change life. No, mabito na in the PPI we are here building people, changing lives, and we never change that. Uh, no, we never change that ideology. We are here to build people and to change lives. We're just blessed that God have given us this business as an avenue to do that, no? as an avenue to do that mission in life. I share this to you because I want you to realize and I want you to know that in your hand, you have a very noble cause. You have a very noble cause. Kumbaga, I always say this. No? At the end of the day, no, we are made We are made all for the glory of God. We are made every day. We are we we wake up in the morning in order to bring glory to His name. And how are we going? And how are we going to bring glory to His name? By following His will. Ano man ano? By following His will. And what is His will? No, the God magkano ng question. And what is His will? Then the will is very simple, lang. No, very simple. No, you can have all other personal will. No, you seek for the will of God for your personal. 
But there is such thing as a general will of God. The one that is written in the Bible already. No, the one that is written in the Bible. Those are general will. And when you say general will, it's non-negotiable. It's non-negotiable, meaning, meaning because it's written there, it is meant to be obeyed because it's there. It's there. So a lot of people are, are really keep praying, Lord, what is my will? What is my will? What is, God, what is God's will for me? Well, in fact, the general will is already written in the Bible. Now, those are other things are personal will. But sometimes you have a hard time defining by whether it's personal, whether it's per, whether it's God's will or it's their cannot get the regular thing you want. Then I then I begin to contemplate and think about it that the greatest thing that can bring glory to God, no, to His name, is first and foremost our obedience to Him. Magi mo pina kada ko nga muhatag og glory si ang name obedience to him second is when you make disciples for him for Jesus meaning you're going to share the word you're going to share the gospel you're going to share the good news so that's the reason why it's good news no that's the reason why it's good news because it's meant to be shared good news are not meant to be kept good news are meant to be shared no because if If good news are not to be shared, then no one will know. Okay, that's good news, no? Pareha good na everybody celebrates when Ahong Chan was declared COVID-free, no? And everybody in the city hall of Lapu-Lapu rejoice because the mayor is now COVID-free and the mayor can go back to work and be on top of the situation of what we have here in in Lapu-Lapu. So. If that is if that is part of the general general will of God, and for us to be able to share the good news, and I always say this, wherever you are right now, it is part of the call of God for you to make Jesus known, uh, to make Jesus known. It's just that it happened that you are a real estate agent. Mawita ng always I always say na. I am a full-time worker of God, skillfully disguised as a real estate agent. No, uh, and smile, see, Sister Nora, di ba? Tama, Sister Nora, you are a real, you are a full-time worker of God, skillfully disguised as a real estate agent, just like a tricycle driver, no. He's meant to share God's word, and therefore he is a full-time worker of God, skillfully disguised as a tricycle driver. Teacher Carol, our teacher in RTR, no, she's a full-time worker of God, skillfully disguised as a teacher and as a real estate agent, and that's that's who we are, and that's who you are, and that's and that's and that's what what we're that's what we're gonna do, no? We we are we are skill, we are skillfully disguised, no. As as to who we are, so malay na no. Ako lang siyang gishare. No, it's my it's my heart's. I know it's my heart's heaviness. Na let's make let's live a life of significance on the remaining six months before 2020 ends. There are so many things that we can be busy. Uh, we can be busy upon, but I believe na every single minute really counts and really matters. And can you imagine, no? Parang kailan lang nag January 1, 2020. Ngayon June ano na 26 na very fast no. It was just only a blink of an eye. It was a snap of a finger, and little did we know we're already here right now. No, that's that's uh, that's how fast it is. No, that's how fast it is. And I always believe. I always believe uh, when we do something. Um, Every step, every day, bitaw. Kaya na agu kay buhaton every day. Dili ra ni mo mamalayan na ang adlaw is pas pas. Dili ra sa ni mo mamalayan na daghan na day kag naagi. Kung wala kay buhaton, pagkadugay mahuman sa adlaw, no? Taas kayo ang adlaw, no? And the next thing you know, it's another day, no? It's another day. And sometimes yon, you you could just wish for yourself na. How I wish I could have done that. How I wish I could have started it. How I wish I made a good start. Pero always remember, 
it's useless to count the days past. Uh, but it, it's much more beneficial if we will be forward-looking. You know, forward-looking. Okay? So I think medyo daghan-daghan naman na, no? Uh, let's, uh, let's start, no? Let's start. Okay? So, actually, we are now here on the, on the, on the third tranche no, of, our, of our training about condominium, and we will be getting into the highlights of it. So, but don't worry, no, for those people who are jumping, jumping in uh, just now. Uh, this is actually a repetitive training. So this, this is actually a cycle that goes on and on, and you don't need to worry with that. No? Um, I, always, I always say this to people. Never be, never be anxious about selling. In fact, it would be really be very best if you just have to be you, the natural you. Because, um, number one, people don't want to be sold upon. No? Kung, kung imo siyang tanawan, bisag ikaw mismo, ayaw mong ikaw ay bentahan. No? Sabi ni Saya pa, dili ka ganahan, ikaw bali, ka nang baligyaan ka. So that's exactly our nature that's exactly our character no one likes to be sold upon so don't be don't be anxious no don't don't be don't don't worry and just relax no just relax and just be you no? in fact i always say this in the training in the training i'm not making you to be like me because number one you will never be like me no because man are created distinctively by god in short there are no two person in this world are the same. No two person. Even the twins no, are not even the same. In short, you don't need, we don't need to copy someone else's style. We don't have to copy someone else's idea or agenda. Idea could probably be learned, but you just have to have yours. No? The intention of our training is to find who you are, to make a better version of yourself. No, a better version of yourself. I firmly believe the one who knows who he is and his capacity and capability, he is in the very best position to sell. Don't worry about learning how to sell because it is an integral character of every person that we know how to sell. Integral. The reason why I say integral is that it is there, it's just that we are not aware of. No, it's there we are not aware of. Let me cite you some example. In a very natural sense, in the natural course of life, between a man and a woman, there is such a thing called courtship. Regardless of whatever situation you are in, in a courtship situation, there is one single thing that is happening there. Everyone, each of the party is trying to sell each other, actually, in the courtship stage. The girl wanted to sell in his own in her own way to the man of her dreams. The boy wanted to sell himself to the lady of her of his dream. In short, in the natural cycle of courtship, there is already the so-called the sales process. There is already the so-called negotiation process. We are just trying to label it differently because courtship and siya. And this one is. Ah, selling money of properties. No, the principle remains the same. The objective remains the same. The guy went into the girl in order to get the answer from the girl. The girl wanted to negotiate. If this boy is really for her, negotiates what are the things that you can offer to me. That's exactly how it is. And if the boy doesn't meet the standards of the girl, the girl knows how to say the rejection that she, she needs, either in a harsh way or either in a polite way. In short, every single thing that happened in there are part of the one so-called the sales process. We are not just aware of. No? In fact, the moment that you and I are elected to the parenthood possession, same cycle happened. Can you just remember the days when your children tried to negotiate something and they asked something from you? When they ask something from you, what is, what is it that they're doing? They're selling an idea to you so that you will say yes. And you will answer to your children 
whatever is that you're going to sell your idea to the children that this is not dili lang sa nilak because ani and you're trying to explain why because you are now in a possession of giving your because selling is transferring of idea from one person to another so it's all there it is all there in all aspects of our lives we just not aware of it we thought na there is a different step we thought that there is a different process we thought that there is a different idea no it is just all the same it's all the same that's the reason why i always say reflect on what are you doing on every single day when you talk to people when you build your relationship when you when you talk to your children when you talk to your partners when you are with when you are in the church when you are in in the school everything happens negotiation happens conversation happens exchange of ideas happens everything happens all of those are part of the selling cycle all of those no you just have to get the principle behind so let me just do some quick review this is just a run through in the sense that this is this is our our last day so that at least uh hindi lang makalimutan no so very this is very quick okay now we started with uh, defining terms and terminologies na the most common terms that you we usually encounter during product reviews now product reviews usually in uh, shares us informations that are actually pabalik-balik lang the only things that differs there are the feature and the prices of course but the common terminologies are always been said okay so don't worry about this one that we're going to you know uh, go through again over and over so these are common terminology that you and I encounters now in the types of condominium we were talking about a, a three to four story condominium which is labeled as walk up type condominium the reason why it's named walk up because definitely there's no elevator and it is also part of our building code now when the building is up to the fourth level level uh, fourth level um high it doesn't need an elevator no uh, that's what obu have uh, have shared so beyond that when it reaches the fifth level then it's a mandatory already that there is an elevator okay then we have our medium rise condominium these are the 5 to 12 story highs condominium and we've got a lot of this one actually 5 to 12 story highs and 12 and above the the high rise building we only have few projects that we can name that are really sky high no you have horizon 101 mandani bay is part of the high rise condominium okay so we were talking about uh, types of unit uh, studio unit one bedroom two bedroom uh, three bedroom but the most sikat uh, right now is the loft type in fact yesterday if you were attend you were able to attend the condominium uh, project review of meridian they are featuring loft type right now they're they're featuring loft type because loft type right now it really sells because it gives space more uh, below and your sleeping deck is right uh, right at your mezzanine or sometimes they're going to convert it into home office okay so loft type then the penthouse of course there are only few of this one uh, in a per building because usually it is in the top most floor uh, so that's penthouse so there are things to remember now these things actually you can make a screenshot if you know uh, these things are actually non negotiable you've got to know that those are the important things that you really have to uh that you really have to know number one especially no and especially huh, especially in condominium selling amenities is very important the reason why people buy condominium is because he wanted to have the luxury of a hotel uh, he wanted to have the luxury of a hotel in which the comforts and the ambiance of a hotel is there no if you're going to take a look at look at condominium developments they will always in i mean you rarely hear a condominium development that doesn't have an amenities it has always an amenities why because that's what people are looking upon in a condominium it's facilities no it's always facilities okay so you need to have the inventory because how will you how will you uh make your clients choose a project if it, there's no inventory and uh, of course the site development plan uh, the visibility map just in case you were not able to go there and we've gone on through the selling skills uh, skills also so 
we were talking about conversion of sales, uh, either from existing client or a new client, because technically we do have some existing clients. Now, if you are engaged in businesses already in the past, if you are doing direct selling or network marketing business, definitely you already have some existing clients or existing customers. Now, those existing clients or existing customers, those are actually, kumbaga, pwede mo lang silang bisitahin actually because the, you already have established a good relationship for them. Now, because of that, already because of that relationship it's going to be easy for you to share whatever projects you have or whatever new product or item that you're going to sell to them in short it's no longer a pressure on your part to establish relationship to establish rapport because you already know each other so that's that's the highlight if if it if it's an existing client no so we were talking about our role as a sales agent no so we've got we've got roles now we've got it's not just about to sell. I always say this, I want here in the PPI that we will champion customer service. Our product is not a consumable product. It's not like toothpaste. It's not like shampoo that after you use the shampoo, you run out of shampoo, then you buy again another shampoo. Well, here it's different. It's, it's, it's a property. It's not consumed. No? Hindi na uubos yan. So, ibig sabihin, um, a person can probably buy you a property once in a lifetime. And if ever there is an increase in their income, there's a time that they're going to consider an additional investment. But in general, a person could probably buy you one property in a lifetime. And what, that, what message would that send us? It simply means that you're only going, that we are only going to make money from that one sale for our life. Then, how are we going to have a repeat business for that person? Then we will have a repeat business through the people that he will refer to us, provided he is happy. Ganun lang po yan. Pag, pag hindi ka masaya doon sa tao na tumulong sa iyo na, na makakuha ng bahay, eh ba, ba't ka magre-refer? Diba? So we have to champion customer service. It's not just about the sale. It's about, you know what? It's, it's totally impossible for you and me to last long in this business if we are not going to take care of our customers. If we are just going to view our clients as just simply clients, then we lose the point. We just have to look at them as not, not just as numbers, but we've got to look at them as person with feelings, with emotions that we can establish our long-term relationships. And in, if you have the relationship with our clients, then he keeps on giving you clients one after the other no okay so we we've, we've talked also about um, the sales process no what are the sales process where it began no we believe that part of the essential of the sales process is that communication once you don't have the communication it is totally impossible that for the sales process to begin in short there has to be a way where in people can contact you there has to be means even people outside of the country can contact you. We already have our existing cell phone. You already have your existing messenger. Now, I want you to add this, I mean, this application because we are actually targeting people coming from outside, outside of the country. Now, there are people who are not using messenger, but they are using Viber. There are people that are not using messenger, but using WhatsApp, especially for our... For our market in South Korea or in the Korean parts, they are using Kakauto, no? And all of you knows that. And like right now, Zoom is an addition, actually. So what I'm saying is that you've got to have that avenue wherein people can contact you because everything begins with communications. When we cannot communicate with them, when they cannot communicate to us, no transactions will happen. Wala hong mangyayari. Wala hong magiging transaction. So it is but very important that you have to keep your lines open. Now you have to keep your lines open. I want you to consider um, putting that in your, in your phone, in your application. Um, ang iba kasi, nag-chat sa akin na hindi daw sila makapag-download ng Viber kasi puno na daw yung capacity ng cellphone nila. So, ang advice ko lang, 
tanggalin na lang nila muna yung Mobile Legends. No? So, tanggalin lang yung Mobile Legends at ipalit ang Viber at saka WhatsApp. No? So, this is very important because these are tools actually that we will be needing for our business. Communication is essential. It is non-negotiable actually. Now, this is the sales process. The entire process is actually a cycle that goes over and over and over again. It's a repetitive cycle. Now, in this cycle, we begin with prospecting. If we don't have prospect, nothing happens. It always begins there. That is the reason why I ask you that you need to have a communication tools. Line should be open wherein people can contact you or you can contact them, but primarily for the purpose that they can contact you. So when your channel of communication is limited, therefore, the people that contacts you is also limited. So we want your contacts to be wide open. That's the reason why we ask you to download Viber, to download WhatsApp, Kahauto, and whatever form of communication available. Guys, it will always begin with a prospect. That is the ever... Uh, what, what, how, do you, how do you call this? Uh, uh, walang katapusang activity ang pagpaprospect. That is the reason why, let me explain this to you. That is the reason why you need to post on Facebook. That is the reason why you need to post on Instagram. That's the reason why we avail services of Property24, Lamudi, the online property channels. The reason why, because we are looking for prospects. We are in need of prospects. Without the prospect, there's nothing to sell upon. Once you have the prospect, it goes on and on. You need to qualify. Always remember, not all prospects are meant to be your buyers. It's just that there are people that are really not, you know, fit to own a property because they are not qualified to own one. Not that we discriminate them, but always remember, 99% of our buyers here are credit buyers, are loan buyers, either through pag-ibig or bank loan. It's just only 1% or 2% segment, those who pays in cash. So meaning we will be dealing with loans. And there is no loan that doesn't require documents. There will always be documents. In short, you cannot process anything for a loan without papers. So what are the common documents that we're needing? Number one, for employment, whether you are working locally or international or OFW, if you are working outside of the country, the basic contract. No? If you are locally working, the basic payslip and the certificate of employment, no? that, will be, that will be sufficient. All other general requirements such as your valid ID, your birth certificate, your marriage contract, your, your, mar your birth and marriage contract, uh, what else? Uh, ID picture, those are standards. No, those are standards. And, and let's just go to the qualifying part. So that is very important. Um, next is if it's business, then it has to be a registered business. It has to have a business permit registered by the DTI or the Securities and Exchange Commission. They need to present the ITR for their, for their business, the income statement. Why? Because unlike with employment, that there is, that there is, a, there is a pay slip, no? Don't say employment, my pay slip is, so you can get it. So the loan officer can evaluate it. But in the case of business, there has to be an income tax return because there is no other way in order for, for, for the bank officer or for the bank uh, or to, for the pag-ibig to really be able to understand kung qualified ka ba mag-loan or hindi. So kailangan niya yung mga financial documents, of course. That is the only... I think that's the only thing that really matters a lot aside from the other uh, documents presented. Okay? Part of the qualifying is their marital status. No, It is very important. Let it be known that in the Philippine law, regardless of whatever situation the couple has, whether they are living independently or whether they have their own separate lives already, as long as they are still legally married, in case of loan processes, both of them needs to affix their signature. Silang dalawa talaga. Hindi pwedeng isa lang. Hindi pwedeng si Mrs. or si Mr. Silang dalawa dapat. Even if they are already parting ways. Unless they are already legally annulled. 
No? They, therefore, they can present their annulment papers that they are already annulled or their marriage is already been dissolved. No? There's already a dissolution of their marriage. So that is that is the that is one of those things that you are going to uh, prepare for the sales process. So this is just only a walkthrough. Huh? Now, with regards to project presentation and site tripping, in which right now we cannot do site tripping. Now, what is important here is that you are able to present to the client the details. Now, what details in particular? Okay. Now, always remember that the decision making of our client is always based on the capacity and their capacity to pay. If there is a thing na kailangan talaga nilang pag-isipan ng mabuti, ayon kung kaya ba nila bayaran ang kinuha nilang property. So ano ang dapat ibigay mo? Yung price computation. Mahalaga po yan. Now, in the price computation, I want you to present it very clearly. No? Alam nila kung magkano yung total na presyo. Mag -al Alam nila nakalagay doon na magkano ang reservation fee. Alam nila magkano ang down payment at ilang buwan babayaran. So if ito yung down payment, ilang months to pay siya. Dapat, na dapat nakalagay dyan na ito yung monthly payment ng down payment. Tapos, pag ito na po yung ilulo natin sa pag-ibig or sa bank, ito rin po yung magiging monthly. Detalyado po yan. Kasi pag nag-usap sila mag-asawa, nag-discuss sila mag-asawa, they have something to look upon pag nag-discuss sila because owning a property is a long-term investment. Uh, long-term investment po yan. Kailangan pag-usapan mag-asawa kasi tatamaan ang mga budget sa bahay niyan. Okay? So ngayon, ito yung point. San ba ako kukuha niyan? No, saan ba ako kukuha niyan? Ito ay always kong sinasabi. Para iwas tayo sa mali, maiwasan ang mali, I highly suggest that you need to establish a direct contact to the office of the developer kasi may mga marketing yan. Okay? Pag na-contact mo sila, they are very reachable. No, They are reachable either messenger, cell phone, or, uh, cell phone or text message, or you can call them via landline. Now, then they will send you the information that you will be asking. Okay. Now, here. San ba ako kukuha niyan, Jof, dun sa mga contact details? O, tanungin mo yung upline mo. Ganon lang ho, kasimple. Dun sa contact details para dun sa developer na tatawagan mo, Tanungin mo yung upline mo kung ano yung contact details ng developer na hinahanap mo. Guys, ito po yun. Ang first-hand information ay always tama. Pag second-hand information, minsan ho magkakamali yan. Gaya ng chismis. Ang chismis, second-hand information. Kaya nga mali-mali eh. Tama po ba? ba? Diba? So, kung kumparati tayong second-hand information... Uh, walang kaibahan sa chismis yan. Walang kaibahan sa chismis yan. Uh, eh ano yung magiging role ng upline ko, Jof? Ay, yung role ng upline mo is to guide you. To guide you, to know you, to teach you kung saan ka pupunta for you to get the right information. Always get the right information. Because, again, that is very crucial to the client. Isipin mo nga, kung ikaw, bigyan ka ng isang computation na mali-mali, ano yung magiging feeling mo? Ano kaya yung magiging feeling mo? Alam mo ang feeling mo? Ikaw ay hindi importante na kliyente. Kasi binigla, binigyan ka lang ng second-hand information. Ano yung sasabihin mo sa sarili mo? Ay, sir, sorry talaga, sir. Ha? Galing kasi yan sa upline ko, sir. Eh. Yung upline ko naman kasi. Siya... Hindi mo pwedeng ganunin yan. Hindi ka pwedeng magbigay ng reason na ganyan. Kasi hindi yan acceptable on the part of the client. A alam mo, sasagot yan. Anong pakialam ko dun sa apply mo? Ikaw yung hiningan ko. O, bigyan mo ako. Kasi hindi, kasi nagtanong ako dun sa ano, hindi pala ito eh. eh lagot na. No? So first hand information is very crucial. And where you can get the first hand information? You can get it from the office of the developer itself. Our, pe our people are there to help us, to facilitate, to guide us, and be there for us. Why? Because they are our coaches. But eventually, you will learn how to do it. 
eventually you will learn how to how to navigate in this business and the mo- ito lang ito lang importante learn to navigate into this business because the moment you know how to navigate in this business napakadali ho napakaisip po pag alam mo na paano i-navigate yun lang po ang pinaka crucial natin yung navigating part no pag pag kabisado mo na mag-navigate ay madali na lang to madali na lang the reason why i i said na you need to get the first hand information during project presentation why because information is vital information are vital at ako i always believe that in in real estate we don't need people that do sales talk hindi po kailangan yon hindi kailangan na magaling ka magsalita ang kailangan dito attention to details ulitin ko ang kailangan dito ay attention to details i was i was browsing to the i was browsing the the the, the, the google and i was asking them the question the top at uh, uh, the top sales uh, who is the top sales person uh, ano ba yung ang tinanong ko basta ang ang pagka, pagkasulat is nagtanong ako doon kung ano ba uh, sino ba ang pinaka pinakamaraming makabenta babae ba o lalaki alam mo ang lumabas sa sagot babae maraming makabenta babae kaysa lalaki at tapos binasa ko yung article um, kasi ang ang nagsulat noon yung yung CEO ng ng Talk Shop eh Talk Shop isang isang training facility sila isang training training firm siya yung nagsulat ng article at ang sabi niya the reason why there are more women who are getting into sales and are succeeding in the sales uh, arena it's because women have attention to details and that's what the buyers is looking upon by the buyers right now sabi niya ang buyers daw ngayon are intelligent buyers na ibig sabihin bago ho ang buyer nag-contact sa may initial information na siya kasi pumunta na siya sa Google eh nag-search na siya may initial searches na siya so matalino na ang mga buyers ngayon sabi ng sabi ng CEO na yon na nagsulat sabi niya the bu- you cannot fool the buyers right now the buyers are already intelligent so therefore it is very crucial that you are able to present the details factually and thoroughly. Sabi niya, kaya nga magaling ang mga babae doon kasi ang mga babae mabusisi. Gusto nila alungkatin talaga yung detalye doon sa isang isang presentation. Ang sabi niya, ang men kasi are are generalist, no? General sila mag ma, general sila tumingin, general sila mag-isip. Hindi nila binibigyan ng maliliit na atensyon. Eh ang babae daw, sabi pa nga niya doon sa article, ang babae daw kahit piso nakikita ang diferensya daw. No. So, ibig sabihin in the sales process, in the project presentation, what matters the most there is how are you going to present your information clearly and thoroughly. And where are you going to get that? You are going to get that right from the horse's mouth, right from the sources. Para hindi po tayo magkamali, we have to get that from the source. Kasi pag pass on information, ano nangyayari pag pass on? Na, 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 naglaro na ba kayo ng message relay? Diba? If naglaro kayo ng message relay, isa lang ang ibig sabihin. There are always messages that are added or subtracted on the original message. Ibig sabihin, hindi na siya exactly kung ano yung message pagdating sa dulo. Ganon din po dito sa sales. Pag pass on information, pass on information, malamang may mga changes yan. So para maiwasan po natin yan, first hand information, go to the source. Go to the source. At saka, always remember, kakampi mo si Google parati. <laughs> kakampi mo si Google parati. Punta ka kay Google, ang dami niyang alam doon. No. Tapos verify, verify that as you're applying for for guidance. No. But always be. Kaya nga eh, ang kailangan talaga dito keen eyes. No. Keen eyes. So, eto yung mangyayari dun sa project sa project presentation. Kasi pag maayos mong na present ang project, yung yung kasunod na step, yung handling objections, 
kukunti na lang yan. Ang goal natin ha, ito yon ang goal natin ng mga real estate agent, as much as possible, wala tayong matatanggap na objection. Eh, imposible naman kasi. Meron naman talaga objections yan or may mga tanong. But what we want here to happen, na as much as possible, koonte lang ang tanong kasi nasagot na natin sa presentation ng maayos. Pag hindi mo nasagot yan sa presentation ng maayos, alam mo anong mangyayari? Sang damakmak na tanong ang aabutin mo. No? So, that is... That is the purpose why we have group chats in the developer. That's the reason why there are FB groups for the project because that is meant for you and me to get information at hand. Okay? So, then, maklose mo na yung sale. So, next. So, yan yung mga sales process natin. Okay? So, may detalye tayo dyan. Itong ginawa natin, ano na ito, overview. Parang review na lang. So, may mga clients need. No? It's either yung need ng kliyente, it's either tirahan ba niya or for investment ba niya. So, dalawang kategory lang. So, and where are you going to know that? And how are you going to know that? When you ask questions, of course. Always remember, when you ask question, always remember that you need to listen for the answer. Okay? Ha? Kasi minsan kasi pag nagtatanong tayo, hindi pa sumagot yung sa isang tanong, nagtanong ka agad na naman eh. So, make sure that you are able to listen to the answers as well. Because there is a process, no? There is a process, no? When your buyer present their needs and wants, then you you have your role is to identify their needs and wants. When when you are able to identify, then you can present to your buyer options. Then they will choose option. In order for them to make the decision, when they make the decision, they buy, and you close the sale. That's exactly how what, what's happening. So it has to be in a parallel possession, okay? So, dito sa selling process, pinag-usapan natin DPPI, no? Discuss the opportunity, present the solutions and benefits, procure the sale, and implement next steps. So, there, there are steps that we are going to accomplish. So, inisa-isa natin yan last week, no? Ano, the other week pala. So, inisa-isa natin yan. Bakit to? Because we believe that, ganito yan, these steps or this process is not meant to be at, it's not meant to make you a robot. Na, ay, ito yung step one. Ay, ito yung step two. Ay, ito yung step three. No. This is actually meant for you to analyze and to gauge yourself where you are in the process so that you can very well assess how you are doing. So, tinitingnan natin para maging scientific naman, para alam natin kung saan, saan area tayo pwedeng mag-improve. Okay? So, dito tayo sa procure the sale actually uh, last eh. So ngayon, actually, papasok tayo dito sa uh, implementing next step na tayo. Eh. Uh, dito na tayo, actually. Implement next steps. Okay. So this is actually our, ano na, our uh, last for the DPPI na sales process. No? Dito sa implement next step, actually. No? So yan, sinabi ko dyan, no? recap the next step for your client kasi dapat oriented ang client kung ano yung gagawin after po ng reservations. Recap the next steps that you should do also uh, para alam alam ni kliyente kung ano yung i-prepare niya at alam din ni kliyente kung ano yung gagawin mo. Okay. So you have to write down all action plans. no? Kasi makakalimutan yan. So be prepared to implement any actions immediately if possible. Communicate and coordinate actions with your consultant as soon as you get back to the office. So May mga consultants tayo kayo, may mga consultant kayo. So, uh, tanungin niyo sila kung ano yung magiging further steps after the reservation. Because we're talking here after the reservation. Yung procure the sale, reservation na yan eh. Yung implement next step is, ano na yan, after the reservation. Okay, tignan na natin. So, ano ba ang implement next step? Ito po yung documentation. Okay, ito yon Very crucial. After the reservation... It is important that you are going to ask for the checklist. Checklist for the list of requirements. Okay. Tingnan natin. So what are the standard requirements? Yan. Two valid government ID. Pag, pag sabihin natin standard, ito po yung requirements na needed regardless if it's pag-ibig or bank. Okay. Pwede yung screenshot para may notes kayo. Two valid government issued ID with three specimen signature. Permahan, no? 
Birth certificate if single. Sinumar, sometimes it's required for validation purposes. Now, may mga developer na humihingi ng sinumar. May mga developer din na hindi humihingi ng sinumar. Ang purpose po dyan ay for validation whether single ba talaga siya or hindi. Lalo na pag medyo in doubt si developer na baka hindi ito nagsasabi ng totoo. Pa-single-single lang to pero married talaga to. So, minsan hinihingan niya ng senumar. Okay? If married talaga, then marriage contract. Notarize special power of attorney if the borrower and co-borrower is absent. Pag wala po ang borrower at saka yung co-borrower, kailangan po mag-execute ng special power of attorney at ito po ay notarize. Okay? Kasi legal document eh. Pag nasa ibang bansa, o ito, okay, very important. Now, if overseas, nakalagay dyan, should be consularized or read ribbon. Okay. So, ano po yan? Notaryo lang po yan. No? Medyo social lang ang pangalan. Consularized or read ribbon. Ibig sabihin, yung special power of attorney, bibit-bitin ni Seaman or ni OFW doon sa embassy. No? Sa Philippine embassy kung anong lugar siya. At doon magpanotaryo siya. Ang tawag po dyan ay consularized or naka-read ribbon. Okay. Bakit doon ginawa? Kasi nandun siya. Kasi nandun siya. Okay. Kung nandito siya sa Pilipinas, hindi eh, dito. Ang tawag lang po dyan ay normal na special power of attorney. Okay? So proof of billing, if under a different name, kung nakabill naka, 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 naka siya sa ibang pangalan, let's say for example, nagrenta ka lang, kailangan mo humingi ng certification doon sa owner na gagamitin mo yung billing niya. Okay. So siyempre, for example, may bill siya ng kuryente. Sapos sabihin mo, sir, mag-apply kasi ako ng pag-ibig loan tapos kailangan kong gum kailangan requirement kasi sir eh proof of billing pwede bang gumamit sa sa billing mo so yes sabi niya yes pwede mo gumamit sir magpapirma lang po ako sa sa inyo ng certification na inalaw niyo ako na gumamit ng billing na to uh, okay pag pumirma siya doon sa certification kailangan mong humingi ng valid ID na may pirma niya na tatlo sa gilid Okay. Kasama dun sa certification na hihingin mo, humingi ka ng valid ID, Xerox mo yan, tapos lagyan ng signature niya tatlo on the side. Kailangan pa yan. Tapos i-attach na dyan yung certification at saka yung proof of billing. Yung bill ng kuryente, bill ng tubig. Pwede na yon. So, ito yung standard requirements. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, hindi talaga ito mawala. Lahat ng project ay ito ang requirements. Okay. Take note. Okay, listen here. During the reservation, may mga developer na ang hinihingi lang ay ID at saka yung payment. May mga developer din na humihingi ng ID at saka payslip or COA. Yun ay tinatawag natin na mga initial requirement. Iba-iba yon bawat developer. So, tanungin lang natin sa developer. But, what I would suggest, ito yung sinasuggest ko. Ito namang standard requirements, alam ko kung legal ka lang na tao, meron ka niyan. No? Imposible namang wala kang ID. Imposible rin namang wala kang birth certificate. E kung nag-asawa ka, imposible din namang wala kang marriage contract. Uh, ba diba? So, ibig sabihin, you can really produce that. Okay? Pag, Legally existing, ha? Okay. Yan ang standard requirements. Now, if locally employed, if dito lang sa Pilipinas nagtatrabaho, ito po yung mga requirements na kakailanganin. Pag nag-loan, ha? Number one, uh, one to three months pay slip with HR signature yan. Okay. Notarized certificate of employment with compensation and benefits. Okay. Yang dalawa, minsan, ang hinihingi na lang ng, ng banko or pag-ibig, Minsan, yung Certificate of Employment with Compensation and Benefits na lang. May mga cases din, pag medyo feel ni pag-ibig na parang ano to eh, parang dinoktor tong COA eh, eh humingi yan ng payslip. Okay? May mga cases na ganon. So, better, uh, better prepare na lang. So, if legitimate naman talaga, if nothing to hide, if honest to goodness naman, wala namang kailangan itago, then I think he can present the payslip. Okay? Tapos, 
Kung locally employed siya, taon-taon naman ang kompanya nagre-remit yan sa BIR. So, ibig sabihin, may income tax return yan na papilis. ba? Diba? So, kailangan po yan, ITR. No? Kumbaga. Tapos, apat na pieces ng ID picture, one by one with what background. So, four loan documents po yan. Okay. Now, nakalu nakasulad yan, MSVS, Member Status Verification Slip for Pag-ibig Loan Application. Okay. Now, ang mga developers meron yan, MSVS. Okay. Yung MSVS na yan ay kailangan lang i-fill up ng buyer. Ang purpose po lang yan ay to verify kung si buyer ay qualified na ba doon sa number of months for housing loan verification purposes. From the word itself, verification slip. So, ito ay parang validation slip na nag-prove na ikaw ay legitimate ng pwede ng mag-loan. Kasi ikaw ay complied na doon sa two years requirement. Uh, ang office ng developer, meron yan. Kung wala naman ang office ng developer niyan, punta kayo sa pag-ibig na website. Uh, search nyo lang dyan sa Google, pag-ibig or HDMF. No? Lagay nyo, kahit pag-ibig, no? kahit pag-ibig, lagay nyo dyan, makikita nyo, idedirect kayo doon sa website ng pag-ibig.gov.ph uh, Ma-download ninyo ang MSVS doon na form. Downloadable yan. Downloadable. Tapos, pag-ibig contribution print printout for pag-ibig applicant. Okay. Ito, pag nasa stage na ng ano ha, uh, hihingin yan. Hihingin yan. Tapos, housing loan application form either pag-ibig or bank. So, kung mag-file na ng loan, ayan, yung loan application form ay downloadable din yan nasa website ng pag-ibig. O kung ano naman, yung mga developers, meron naman silang copy niyan eh. Pwede kang humingi. Magtanong ka lang na ma'am, meron po ba kayo dyang housing loan application form? Pag sabi nila na yes, meron, uh, hingi ka lang. Uh, pwede makahingi. Pag sinabi sa'yo na ma'am, punta ka lang ng pag-ibig website tapos download mo lang doon. Uh, I-download mo. Kasi kakailanganin yan. So fill up si buyer. Remember, in filling up go, uh, loan application, one must use black ink. Um, hindi blue, hindi green, hindi red, black ink. Uh, importante yan. Okay. For loan, ha? For, for loans na. Okay. Now, pag overseas naman, ito, employment job contract. Kayo ba nag-screenshot nito? Screenshot nyo kasi importante ito kasi may magtatanong-tanong uh, pabalik-balik lang mga tanong nito. Eh. Employment or job contract with English translation, ha? Kung Kung, let's say for example, nasa Japan, niya, Japan siya, yung contract niya ay nasa uh, uh, Nipongo, eh, kailangan siyang i-translate to English. Okay? Photocopy of passport, both departure and arrival. Bakit kailangan yan? Bak because dyan makikita kung nandito ba talaga siya sa Pilipinas or wala or kung nasa ibang bansa siya. Consularize special power of attorney if needed. Apat na pieces na one by one ID picture with white background, of course, that is for i-attach yan dun sa loan application form. Then MSBS for pag-ibig loan applicant. Then pag-ibig contribution printout for pag-ibig applicant. Then housing loan application form, either for pag-ibig or bank. Sa bank kasi wala ng MSBS or, or printout ng contribution. Wala yan. Yung dalawang step na yan, wala yan sa banks. Okay. Now, ganito yan. No? Um, Earlier, I was really pushing for, for pag-ibig talaga because everyone has really pag-ibig. Now, on the other hand, um, banks right now are offering low rates actually. So, kung saan makakatipid si buyer, doon nyo sila i-push. Explain nyo lang sa kanila na hindi naman mo make of difference ang pag-ibig or, or bank. Ma'am, kung gusto mo talagang makatipid, eto mas mura ang, ang interest rate sa bank over that of pag-ibig. Sa ngayon, ha? Sa ngayon. Sa ngayon. Because our banks have more money right now. So, ganun na lang. Depende na lang. Ang isa lang na downside is that um, dito kasi sa pag-ibig, um, medyo ano kasi pag-ibig eh, pag may mga default payment tayo, medyo a little bit lenient si pag-ibig because ang intention kasi ng pag-ibig ay magkabahay ang bawat Pilipino. So, hindi talaga hindi talaga siya agad-agad nagpo-foreclose ang pag-ibig. Ang bangko kasi, pag you are in default two or three months, uh, yung property mo magiging kasali na yan doon sa mga magiging foreclosed. Uh, sa makatwid, eh, parang 
makaka-receive ka na ng mga foreclosure notice niyan sa banko. Kasi negosyo rin nila eh. We've got to understand that that's business for them. In pag-ibig kasi, as much as it is a business for the government, it is also the intention of the government to provide houses for the Filipino people and for everybody's benefit. Now, uh, our pag-ibig agency right now have allocated, no, have allocated every Filipinos 6 million pesos for loan uh, availment. 6 million pesos po for every loan avail for every Filipino na gustong mag-loan ng bahay. Now, of course, hindi naman ka pwedeng pumunta ng pag-ibig. Hoy, pag-ibig, pwede ako mag-loan ng 6 million na bahay. Hindi. I-evaluate ka rin kung makakabayad ka ba ng 6 million. Basta yun ang allocated budget ng bawat isang Pilipino up to 6 million. Okay? Ganun ho karami na ganda ganun ho karami ang pera natin sa Pilipinas sa totoo lang, no? I never realized that we've got so much money na that na, kaya nga nag-flourish ng husto yung real estate industry. Okay? So so key summary points, so sana ho gisin screenshot nyo. Ito lang no, uh, summary points natin no, questioning techniques kailangan niyo talagang magtanong sa kliyente para alam niyo kung ano yung gusto nila at makinig no, makinig. You build opportunity for gain and help the client recognize this. No, then yung DPPI sales process natin. Don't worry po because etong mga trainings natin pabalik-balik to eh, pabalik-balik. You just have to keep on attending so that ma ang, ang ano kasi ang point kasi dito refresher eh. Ako um, can you just imagine no? Ang iba hindi nag aaten ng training kasi alam na nila. Ay, hindi na hindi hindi, hindi na ako mag-attend ng training, Jeff. Alam ko naman 'yan. O oh, kabisado ko na ko na 'yan. Imagine, guys. Kayo may options na hindi mag-attend kasi alam na ninyo. Sa tingin niyo ako may option? Wala. Anya, can you just imagine how boring life is that I've been doing this training over and over again? Can you imagine that? But I never look at into that. You know, you know what happened always every time I do trainings. Alam mo ang unang nari refresh ay ako. Ako ang unang nari refresh. Ako ang unang na encourage. Every time we are in the seminar, ako ang unang na encourage. Ako ang unang nari refresh. Because every time I even even me I, when I attend seminars, when I attend seminars, I always put it in my mind that whatever things that I am going to learn here. Regardless if it's new or not, what matters the most that I am reminded of what I am supposed to do. Pinapaalala ka ba? Ay, yan pala yung dapat gawin ko. Ay, ganito pala. Ay, yan pala. Oh, kasi nakakalimutan natin from time to time. Okay? So, bago ho tayo magpatuloy, may video po ho akong ipapakita sa inyo. Now, this is a conversation. Conversation po to. Um, if you have your headset with you, much better if you have. And I want you to listen intently. I want you to listen intently. And I want you to digest and masticate every single statement that this man will going to share to us. Okay? Here it is. Go ahead. Sell me this pen. Today, I'm going to teach you how to sell anything to anyone, anytime. Now, when it comes to selling, when it comes to closing, there's so many techniques and so many ways. Today, I'm gonna share with you three powerful secrets that you can use to sell anything to anyone. The very first secret is this. How do you turn something that's a commodity? How do you sell a product? How do you sell a service in such a noisy marketplace? Number one. Understand this, people don't buy because of logic. People buy because of emotion and they justify it with logic. People buy based on emotions and they justify with logic. I want you to think of something that you want to buy in your life. It could be a car, it could be a house, it could be anything. Just want you to picture that. Once you have that in your mind, I want you to ask yourself this question, why do you want to buy it? Why do you want to buy that particular item? Why do you want to own that item? Why is that? Maybe it's, it's, maybe it's a new suit, it looks good on you. Maybe it's a new dress, maybe it's a new car, maybe it's a new house, maybe it's that vacation, but why do you buy it? I want you to dig a little bit deeper. If you 
peer through the layers, I think you'll realize you're buying emotions. Maybe you buy the item because of greed. You want to make money or you want to save money. Or maybe it's because of generosity that by buying this item is going to help other people. Have you noticed sometimes even the companies out there, if you buy this particular product, they're going to donate a certain amount to charities. Maybe you buy because of generosity. Maybe because of shame that if I don't buy this, I'll look foolish. If I don't own this, I'll look foolish. Or maybe it's fear that if I don't buy this, I'm going to be missing out. I don't want to miss out. Maybe it's an escape that you go on the vacation, your nine to five job is driving you fucking crazy, and you say, oh man, I need, I need some time off. Maybe he's doing it, buying it because of escape. Whatever those reasons are, those are very often emotional reasons. So you buy because of emotion, and you justify it with logic. So think about when you're selling something to somebody. Are you just talking about features and benefits? What this thing would do for you? Or are you pushing those emotional hot buttons? I remember one time I was in Harry Rosen, which is a very well-known kind of men's uh, menswear store, high-end in Vancouver. I walked into the store and I was walking by the Tom Ford section. And the salesman approached me and said, Sir, what is there anything I can help you with? I said, no, I'm just browsing around. And he said, do me a favor, put this suit on. Now, at the time, I've never owned a Tom Ford suit before. I have a lot of suits, but I don't have a Tom Ford suit. He said, do me a favor, put this on. I said, all right, I put it on. He said, how do you feel? Well, it feels pretty good. I said, okay, also try this on, put on this tuxedo. I said, okay, that's pretty good. He said, oh, it looks great. He said, he said sir, are you, are you a fan of James Bond? I said, who isn't a fan of James Bond? Like, duh. He said, you see this suit right here, this tuxedo, is the exact suit, exact same design as he, James Bond wears in Casino Royale. You know the scene when he was gambling? Said, Fuck, it looks good, right? And before you know it, I bought the damn fucking, fucking tuxedo, right? And it's a lot of money, costs a lot of money. And if you think about that, what am I buying? I'm buying the emotions. What I'm buying is this, I'm buying when I wear this tuxedo, I mean, I feel good. As a James Bond fan, I feel like James Bond. Even logically, I know this, of course, it's not James Bond, I'm not James Bond. But emotionally, it takes me there. This is cool that I own, you know, I wear the same tuxedo, the same fit, right? The same everything. And then he upsold me on the damn, like the, the shirt and the cuffling, the whole nine yard, right? That's what I'm talking about. People buy because of emotions and they justify with logic. You have to understand that. Don't push your products. Don't just push your services. Don't push the features and benefits. Think about what are those emotional hot buttons that you're pushing. Number two, people don't buy their way into something. They buy their way out of something. It means people very often, they're buying something because they have a problem they want solved. They want to buy their way out of that problem. People don't buy the drill they want to hold on the wall. So what is it that you are you're helping them solve that? What problem? What is it? What is that thing you have to understand? So I always say the amount of money that you make is in direct proportion to how how deep you understand your marketplace's pain. The amount of money you make is in direct proportion of how well, how deep you go, how much you understand your marketplace's pain. So you have to understand what it is, what, 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 what are the pains that people have and how can you help them relieve some of that pain? So think about that. Number three, people don't buy products and services, they buy stories. Because when there are so many choices out there in the marketplace, on the internet, any, any, any product that you want, there are hundreds and hundreds of choices. How do you stand out? How do you add emotions to a commodity, a pen? What's the difference between a $2 pen like this or a, an $800 Mont Blanc John F. Kennedy limited edition exclusive pen, $800 pen. It's the same pen, it has the same functions. Story. When you add story to, it, to an item, suddenly when you add the, the, the John F. Kennedy, the president's story attached to a brand, to a logo, 
it is 10 times more valuable. It is 100 times more valuable. It is 300 times more valuable, that particular pen. All because the story, it writes the same. A $2 pen you can write too. That's the difference. So think about what, what's the story? How can you inject stories into everything that you do? Maybe it's an origin story. How did you get started? Why do you do what you do? What about also stories of your customers? I just launched a new YouTube channel. You can click on the link below. I'll put a link below in the description. You can check it out. It's a Danlock Global Community on YouTube. It has nothing to do with the program that I teach. It has everything to do with stories. It's stories from my students, what they have learned, their background, their stories. It has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with, with the program that I run. It has nothing to do with that but stories. It's other people's stories, other people's success stories. So where are you using stories in your marketing, in your business? How else can you use stories? Remember, facts tell, stories sell. Facts tell, stories sell. So comment below, tell me, based on these three secrets, how will you sell me this pen? Go ahead, comment below, sell me this pen. Okay, no? Very informative, no? Very informative. Um, three things. People buy based on emotions. They justify it with logic. That is the reason why we wanted to penetrate the heart when we talk. And when people is touched by, from the heart, the connection between the client and you begins. That's what we call rapport. That's what we call rapport. When people's emotions are touched, they are very vulnerable. Not that we play with their emotions, but that's a skill, that's a technique that we, we've got to learn. And guess what? You know who's, who's best at this? Women. Women are best at this one. Connecting people, talking from the heart. Women are best for that. Now, for the women out, out here right now that are listening to our training, I want you to know that you already have that innate capacity in yourselves right now. For the men, you've got to learn it. You've got to learn the soft side of that because that's the only way that we will be able to connect between you and the client that you're going to be talking. Now, how are we going to talk about emotion with regards to uh, selling condominium? Number one, Always remember that there will always be reasons why people buy a condo. Now, you've got to know that reasons, that there are only two things that could possibly be the reason. Number one, the first reason could either be, I want to buy that condo because I wanted to live near where I work for residential purposes, nearer to his or her work. Second, I'm going to buy this condo because I'm going to do this for business. So two aspects, dwelling and investment. Now let's take a look at the dwelling part. Dwelling could be any other reasons. Number one could be palapit sa trabaho. Number two could be he's getting a condo unit because one of his child or his children are going to school nearby in that condominium. I don't want my children to, to be exposed in traveling quite far. And I want my children to be just very safe, even if they go home at night after school, kasi malapit lang ang condominium. I want my children to be secure because they are well fully guarded. So there has to be reason kung bakit. Kung bakit kukuha siya ng condo. Sa residential purposes, kung hindi man para sa kanyang mga anak, Para sa kanya. Bakit gusto niya dyan? Una, baka malapit sa trabaho. Number two, baka gusto niya ng comfortable living na, na parang nasa hotel. Na every time na napapagod siya sa trabaho, napupuntahan ko para mag-relax ako. Instead, napunta ako ng hotel, dito ako pupunta sa condominium ko. Pwede ganon. May bahay siya, nagtatrabaho siya, malapit dun sa bahay niya, at gusto niya na every weekend ay punta ako dun sa sa condominium ko na yan kasi dyan sa condominium ko may swimming pool, may gym may 
all the facilities that I need in a hotel is there. At tapos doon ako matutulog, magluluto ako, magiging convenient. So, family gathering, lalo na pag mga nasa senior years, ay dan ako kukuha ng condo, tapos imbitahan ko na lang yung mga, an- mga anak ko pag- pagdating ng Sunday after service, dito na lang kami sa condo, mag- mag- ma- mag-poolside party kami, mag-barbecue party kami. So that's emotions. No, that's emotions. Now, if you get to know the reason why he wanted to buy for, for the purposes of usage, you can dwell your communication on that aspect. No? So ibig sabihin, you talk about it. Ma'am, um, that's good, ma'am, no? Kasi itong condominium na to, uh, walking distance lang sa, sa school ng anak mo. Eh, alam mo naman ngayon, ma'am, uh, sa panahon ngayon, mas mainam na yung nag-iingat, at least safe siya. At any time, well guarded, may security. At napakaganda, ma'am, itong condo na to, safe na safe yung anak mo. Kasi... Uh, naka-card key sila, tapos yung elevator hindi nga tatakbo eh, kung hindi ikaw talaga yung card holder. So part of the security measures yan. So in short, you've got to talk on the interest that interests your client so that you can go inside the emotions. Now, on the part of the investment, on the part of the investment, ito kasing investor, dalawa lang, dalawang bagay lang ang gusto nilang malaman. Number one, yung condominium ba, na ba yan, na pa, ang location ba niyan ay maganda? Location ang titingnan niya. Titingnan niya ng location niyan, pasabol ng mga public transport, hindi lo- looban, maraming tao. Kasi ang habol niya, renta. Kasi, pag nandun sa magandang location at kukuha ako malamang, may magre-renta. Tapos, ang next niyang tanong, magkano kaya ang mga average rental dito? Dapat magka- magtanong-tanong ka rin yan. Or mag- Alam mo, madaling magtanong eh. Punta ka lang kay Google. Average rental condominium in in Lapu-Lapu City. Alalabas yan. Average rental condo in Davao City. Alalabas yan. Average rental condo in Butuan City. Alalabas yan. So you just have to be resourceful. So pag-pag investment, ganun lang yung pinag-uusapan talaga. Location at yung potential na rental dyan sa lugar na yan. Kasi kung magpaparenta ako, Definitely, dapat kikita ako. Ganun yan. So, you're playing with a... You're, you're, you're hitting to the, to the uh, uh, emotions. No? To, the, to the emotions. Napaka-importante yan. Ang pangalawang sinabi niya, people don't want to be sold upon. No? In short, sa, sa Tagalog, ang tao, ayon, uh, hindi niya gustong binibentahan siya. Uh, ayaw niyang binebentahan kahit kayo naman eh ayaw niyo naman ayaw niyo ayaw niyo bentahan kayo ayaw niyo bentahan kayo kaya nga always remember when a real estate agent gears towards helping the client solve his problem you are not selling him or her but rather you are providing solutions for him or her so dapat solutions driven dapat solutions driven. So kung kung benta mindset lang ka lang kasi, ang gagawin mo magsi-sales talk ka para makuha mo lang. Pero pag solution driven ka, you will always look onto the welfare of what is it that your client really likes upon. Kung ano talaga yung gusto niya at ibigay mo kung ano yung gusto niya. Ikaw yung nag-provide ng solution. Okay? Ang pangatlo, napakaganda po noon. Ano sabi doon? Facts tells. Stories sell. Oh, napakaganda. Testimony. Testimony, napaka-powerful yan. No? Kahit saang bagay mo ilagay ang testimony, napaka-powerful yan. Kahit doon sa personal life natin, testimony, powerful yan. Sa church natin, powerful ang testimony. Testimony are proof. Always remember, Testimonies are proof. Kaya nga, namalayan nyo, every time na nagkakandak tayo ng business review, nag interview tayo dun sa mga success stories natin. Bakit? Because those are, those are the things that validates our statements. Yung mga sinasabi ng mga ini-interview natin, sila yung nagbabalidate dun sa sinasabi natin na etong negosyo natin maganda. Sila yung nagpapatutuunan. 
Now, with regards to property selling, just in case you don't have much of uh, experience yet kasi bago ka pa lang, eventually, you can use actually the story of your upline. No? Ay, upline, papahiram ng story mo ha. Pa story ng kliyente mo. The story of the client satisfied on a certain project is very beautiful story to be told, actually. No? Kaya nga, always sinasabi ko eh, remember, remember always to be thankful and always recognize your clients. As much as we congratulate ourselves when we make a sale, please congratulate your buyers and be thankful for them. Because their stories make your stories more beautiful. Di ba? Kasi yung kwento ng buhay ng mga kliyente natin, mas lalong gumaganda yan pag naka-attach sa storya ng buhay mo bilang isang ahente. No? So may mga stories. So capture those stories. Capture those stories. Because those stories, um, yesterday, for example, the Meridian, di ba, on the video, may in-interview sila na homeowner ng isang condominium nila, isang local at saka isang foreigner. That's very important. Why? Because that is a story. That is a story that is worth sharing because that story is a proof that this project is good. Eh, yung mga kwento na mga success, uh, mga, mga stories na mga kliyente na nag-avail sa'yo, ito yun ay pagbabuild ng trust sa'yo na makikita ng kliyente na nag-inquire sa'yo na ay, makipag-transact ako dito kay, kay Judy kasi an, yung mga kliyente niya, oh, trusted her so ito si Judy trustworthy ito um, doon makikita okay so that's the reason why we 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 post recognitions congratulations so that your buyers your clients your inquiries will know that this person is a trusted person because nakabenta na nga to eh nagkinungratulate na to eh etong tao na to ay trustworthy ito uh, so that's the reason why that's the agenda okay so why a condo So stories, no stories. Stories will sell. So make make those stories available for you. If you don't have one, you ask your upline for stories. So why a condo is a good idea? Maybe better than a house. So ito na po, no? Um, ng or tong oras ba eleven? Okay, kato. We will end with this one. Okay. Yan. Ano na kikita nyo? Kasabi dito, 10,000 per month, limited offer this May only. Ito po, May pa eh. Condos are less expensive than a house. No? A lower price means a lower down payment and a lower monthly payment. So, ganito lang yan. Hindi nyo ba namalayan na when it comes to house and lot properties, it's very expensive. Except those houses na na-label natin as economic houses, yung gaya ng Bria, Bria Homes at saka Lumina Homes. Now, look at here in Cebu. Look at here in Cebu. In Cebu City, you cannot buy a house anymore. There's no available house and lot subdivision project. And if there is a house and lot project in Cebu, Cebu City itself, it will even cost you 13, 14, or even 15 million pesos. One time, I browsed onto the pages of the former project of Camellia Pasadena. Imagine townhouse, townhouse in Guadalupe. Now there was a reopen at that time, and it was priced at nine million. Can you imagine that townhouse priced at a nine million, fifty square meter townhouse? That's how expensive house and lot is in a metropolis. In a in a metropolis, look at. Look at, uh, let's say, for example, Butuan City. Let's say, for example, Butuan City. It's not the same as that here at Cebu, but let's take a look at their pricing. Now, look at Camellia Homes in Villa Cananga. No? The, the, the Camellia Homes in Villa Cananga, if you buy a single detached house and lot there, it will cost, ito ang cost niya, 3 million and up. That's the cost, 3 million and up. Now, You buy a coho there. Ito yung monthly 10,000. Can you just imagine the difference? So, ibig sabihin, for people that are looking for affordable dwelling na sa tingin nyo naman single pa, 
at medyo start a family pa, condo is okay pa na. No? Kasi uh, affordability. Anyway, ganito yung pitch nyo. Ma'am, it's okay. Anyway, start a family pa naman tayo at uh, wala pa po naman tayong anak. By the way, by the time na magkakaanak na po tayo, eh, pwede naman po tayong lumipat sa isang house and lot property at by the time ho nakapag nakapag-expand na po kayo sa inyong sa inyong career at medyo gumaganda na rin po ang kita. So eh ito man pwede mo pwede po naman po ninyong uh, parentahan naman. Okay? So magiging ganun 'yan. Okay? So condos are less expensive than houses. So and that's true to even here in our places. The prices of condos are less expensive than houses. Next, to yung mga reasons. Number two, No repairs and maintenance, at least on the exterior. Okay. Now, when you, when you talk about house on lot, there is so much of a maintenance, actually. Ang dami hong maintenance. Um, aside from the roofing, aside from the painting outside, may mga damages yan eventually for the house on lot project. Dito sa condominium, wala ka nito. Wala ka mga repairs and maintenance on the exterior. Kung meron ka mang repair and maintenance dun sa interior, malamang nasa ano yon mga plumbing areas, dun sa mga toilet and bath, yun lang, mga tubo, mga pipings lang, mga fittings, maliit lang ang cost ng repairs. Sa houses kasi, the longer it gets, you have more maintenance to really maintain the house. No? Aside from, minsan tumutulo na yung bubong mo, minsan uh, um, yung kulay ng pintura ay medyo ano na, uh, fading na. So there are costs to maintain, no? If if compared to a house and lot, next location, no location of the condominium is in the central business district, CBD, right at the heart of the city. Kumbaga, if you wanted to have a if you wanted to have a dwelling place right in the heart of the city, wherein ang lahat ang bagay ay lalakarin mo lang, a eh, sa condominium kana. Because usually the house and lot right now are really quite in in a distance dun sa Central Business District. So if you are actually working in the city, having an active lifestyle, at if you are here in Lapu-Lapu, just like in our case, if that dito ka sa Lapu-Lapu, tapos trabaho mo sa Cebu araw-araw, and if you're gonna cross to, to Lapu-Lapu to Cebu every day, nako, my goodness. Can you just imagine in Cebu, just to cross Lapu-Lapu to Cebu, it will take you two hours because of the traffic? Parang Manila na rin. No? That is the reason why Condominiums are selling well in Manila. Why? Because there is so much traffic already that people are buying condominium and they wanted it to be in the local business district. Why? Because maglakad na lang sila. No? Maglakad na lang sila. So next, amenities for leisure and relaxation. The reason why I went into condo development or condo purchase because gusto ko ng amenities. Gusto ko ng leisure and relaxation. Kasi mahal naman mag-hotel, eh, instead mag-hotel ako, every weekend dyan ako, makakatipid pa ako. Kung may pera talaga ako. ba? Diba? So that's for amenities, amenities for leisure and relaxation. So we're talking about this one because these are the points that you want, that you're gonna be pushing for condominium. Okay? So by the time na nagpipresent ang developers sa atin, ay, this afternoon, mega world, condominium yan. So, may mga house and lot din sila sa Bacolod. Pero sa condominium, take notice of the amenities. Next is social connection. Okay. Doon kasi sa condominium, eh, isang building lang kayo eh. Isang building kayo. So, malamang you're gonna be going together in the elevator, in the stairs, in the hallways. Isang, isang building lang kayo, isang hallway lang kayo. So you've got a lot of business or social connection. That's the reason why a lot of senior citizens right now are actually moving from the usual house and lot, lalo na lang kung sila na lang mag-asawa na, na nag enjoy doon sa retirement nila, ay lumilipat na ngayon sila sa condominium. Maliit lang ang lugar na iti take care at walang masyadong hassle para i-maintain ang lugar. So hindi nila kailangan maglinis talaga physically. So they just enjoy the leisure and the luxury of a hotel while living in that condominium. So, maganda to for the senior citizens or the retirees. Okay? Social connections. No? So, being connected helps you and feel like you belong. Ayan. So, sign up. So, okay. So, recap ko, sandali. So, yun ang mga points natin for, ano, for condominium. 
So being connected helps you feel like you're being connected. Yan, amenities for leisure and relaxation. Location in the Central Business District. No repairs and maintenance, at least on the exterior. And lastly, condos are less expensive than house and lot. Okay? So, I hope we have an enjoyable time together. No, I hope the, the video na pinakita ko sa inyo before we, we have ended, it, it helps you. And uh, in a way, uh, everything is pabalik-balik naman. No? At ito lang, one last message. Wala hong, wala hong, ano dito eh, wala hong magaling talaga. Walang magaling. Uh, ako, I always believe na selling is an experiential thing. Experiential. Kumbaga, the more you experience it, the more you are capable of doing it. Ang mahirap lang sa selling ay yung first time. Yung first time. The succeeding situation, the succeeding sale will be much a little bit of an easy, uh, easier. At saka ito lang din, ang always kong mensahe. Huwag mong isipin na hindi mo kaya. Kasi gift natin, remember the 818. Remember, balikan mo si the 818. Deuteronomy 818. It is God who gives you power or ability to get wealth. Balikan mo yan. O, kaya nga always binabalik natin dyan. Eh. Balikan mo yan. Always remember, it's not about you, but it is about God who gives you that ability. So, manalig ka. Maniwala ka na meron ka niyan kasi siya ang nagbigay sa iyo niyan. The only thing that you need to do is you cultivate that. Paano ka ba mag-cultivate? Eh, bungkalin mo. Di ba? Ganun mag-cultivate ng lupa eh. Bungkalin mo. Because habang binubungkal mo yan, binubungkal mo yan, bungkal ng bungkal ka yan, naging na, tumataba ang lupa. At habang binubungkal mo yan at tumataba ang lupa, ang mga pananim ay tumutubo. Di ba? Ganon din yun sa mga personal natin na mga improvement sa life. Habang ginagawa mo siya every single day, habang pinapraktis mo ang art of selling every day, manonotice mo every day gumagaling ka. No? Always remember, you don't have to beat other people. You've just got to beat yourself yesterday. In short, every single day that when you wake up, you've got to desire it in yourself that you're going to create a better version of yourself. It has to be always getting better and better every single day. Because what would your life be if you will not improve? What will you tell to the master when you go go up into the heaven and if you haven't improved and i'll end and i'll, I'll end it to, and i'll end this uh, training with you in sharing to you the parable of the talents no. parable of the talents no. if we are shared by a lot of pastors here uh, all of us are very much familiar with the parable of the talents no and I'm, i'll i'll gonna make it as simple as it can for everybody to really understand the message of that in the parable of the talent, there was a master. And there was three servants. No? And this master is actually planning to go on a vacation. No? Planning to go to Europe, for example. Now, before the master left off, now, it's going to be a long vacation. So, medyo matagal siya sa abroad. So, ang sabi niya, no? sabi niya, um, tinawag niya yung tatlong, ano niya, yung tatlong uh, servant niya. So, tinawag niya si Judy, tinawag niya si, si Maribeth, no? at tinawag niya si Nora. Si Judy, si Maribeth, at saka si Nora. So, ang ginawa ni, ni, ni Master, binigyan sila. No? Binigyan sila. Binigyan sila ng tigwa 100,000. No? Eto Judy, 100,000. No? Eto Maribeth, 100,000. Nora, eto 100,000. Okay. Now, ipagkaloob ko sa inyo yan, uh, alagaan nyo yan, uh, medyo mawawala ako ng matagal-tagal. No? Um, siguro mawala ako ng mga isang taon. Okay? So excited si Judy, si Maribeth, at saka si Nora. 
So sabi ni Maribet, Ma'am Jude, SM tayo mamaya ha. Oh. Mag-shopping tayo. Oh. Sabi ni Judy, ay, wala namang sinabi si Master na mag-shopping tayo Ma'am Bet eh. No? So ano bang gagawin natin? So sabi ni sabi ni Nora, ay basta ako, wala akong gagawin. He, itong pera na to, itong 100,000 na to, hindi atin to kay master to. Ako ang gagawin ko, maghuhukay ako doon sa likod. I, i, ilibing ko itong 100,000. Uh, kaysa ako pang, ako pang hanapan ito pagdating ng panahon, eh, mamumoblema ako. So, itong dalawa, si Judy at saka si Maribet, agresibo, erisgado eh. Sabi ni Maribet, ano kaya, Ma'am Jude? Magdigosyo na lang tayo. Magpapalending tayo? No? Magpa-5-6. No? Sabi ni Maribet, 5-6 tayo. No? Sabi ni Jude, ay, wag yun, Ma'am Maribet. Ang laki ng tubo nun. Naka... Lalong, humin, lalong naghihirap ang tao niya. Maghanap lang tayo ng ibang negosyo. No? Ay, sige, mag... ano lang tayo? Buy and sell? No? Ay, nakakapagod, ma- nakakapagod Ma'am Judy eh. Um, ng buy and sell eh. Ah, sige, sige, mag-online seller na lang tayo. Bili tayo ng mga item, tapos online seller. So to cut the story short, bumalik si Master after one year of vacation. So ngayon, tinawag na. Tinawag na. Uh, Judy, Maribet, Nora, sana ba kayo? Yan, bilis-bilis na takbo. So ngayon, oh, kumusta na ba kayo? Oh, oh Judy, ba't ka guma- gumanda ka, Judy? Ah? Nagpariban ka ba? Oh, yun, yun, ang, yun, ang, yun, yun ang tanong ni... Ni, ni Master. Uy, Maribet, ang puti-puti mo na. Ano ba yan? Gluta tayo, no? Ano yan? chen chen su uh, So, no, no, napangiti si Maribet. Sabi niya, hindi ni Master. chen chen su lang yan. Uh, yun ang sabi ni Master. Nora, ba't yung buhok mo pumuti? Uh, eh, Master, wala akong pera. Hindi ako nakabili ng pangtina ng buhok eh. So, um, so ngayon, wala kang pera na pangtina ng buhok? Ano ba? Ah, sige, sige, ganito, ganito. Oh, ano bang nangyari doon sa 100,000 na, na binilin ko sa, iyo, sa inyo? Ah, ikaw, Judy, inubos mo ba ng pagpapariba ng buhok mo niyan? O oh, ikaw, Maribet, in, ano man, pinambili mo na isang truck ng Chen Chen Su? Ah, oh, ikaw, Nora, hindi ka naman nakabili ng ano, pangtina. Sa, saan na ba yung 100,000? So, ngayon, ito na si Judy. Master, ganito yan. Alam mo, Master, nagka-COVID, hindi makalabas ng tao, ang mga tao. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-online selling ako. Nag-online selling ako ng Biko. Biko? Nag-online selling ka ng Biko? Oh, Master, alam mo, Master, every time na nagpo-post ako ng Biko for sale, after one hour, sold out lahat ang Biko. Ganon kabilis, Master. Oh. Tapos, ang ginawa ko, Master, para ma-deliver, tinawagan ko yung husband ni Janice. Siya yung taga-deliver, ang cash driver. O, oh, yun. Nagdi-deliver. So online, so ano nangyari? Ano nangyari kasi nagka-covid tayo. Alam mo master, yung 100,000 mo. Ito yung 100,000 mo master oh. Ito yung 100,000 at eto master, may tubo na yung 100,000 mo. Ito yung 200,000. Ah, babi ko lang ha, 200,000 ha. Ang ang lupit naman, ang lupit. Judy, gawa ka ng biko. Titikman ko yan kung gaano kasarap yung biko na yan. So ngayon, Punta naman tayo dito kay Maribet. Oh Maribet, ikaw, anong ginawa mo doon sa sa iniwan kong 100,000? Master, dahil sa gumagamit naman ako ng chinsensu, eh kaya nga pumuti yung mukha ko ngayon, oh, puting-puti na. Nag-order ako sa China ng wholesale ng chinsensu. Yung chinsensu, Master, na binibenta dito sa sa Cebu sa halagang 300 pesos. Sa China pala, Master, 50 pesos lang pala yun. So, ang laki ng tubo, 250 pesos. Alam mo ano nangyari, Master? Nag-online selling ako. Nang nag-online selling ako, dahil nakikita ng mga tao na pumuti yung mukha ko, puting-puti na ako, ang lakas ng benta. Yung kay Judy, one hour, biko, sold out. Yung sa akin, wala. Hindi umabot ng 30 minutes. Yung Chen Sin ko, sold out. Online. Online lang, Master. At yun, ang taga-deliver din, yung husband ni Ma'am Janice. No, na angkas driver. Sabi ni Master, ang lupit naman ng chinsensu na yan. 50 pesos lang pala yan. 250 ang benta dito. Ang laki ng tubo. Ha? So ano nangyari doon sa 100,000? Alam mo Master, yung 100,000 mo, ayan, ayan, isa yun na yung 100,000. Eto Master, oh, eto yung 300,000 na balik ng 100,000 mo. Aba, ang tindi. Ngayon, eto na. Honora, eh yung sayo, 
eh, hindi ka naman nakabili ng pangtina ng buhok uh, ano na bang nangyari walang walang ka improve improve yang yang hitsura mo pag alis ko puting-puti yang buhok ngayon puting-puti pa rin so alam mo master ako matagal na akong nagsiserbisyo sa iyo at alam ko kung gaano mo pin, gaano ka kahirap nagtrabaho para ipunin itong 100,000. So an, alam mo master ang ginawa ko, halika master. Halika master. Uh, pumunta ako doon sa likuran ng bahay, naghukay ako, naghukay ako. Ang alam mo master para secure na secure. Alam mo, naghukay ako master 60 feet. Ganun kalalim Nora, 60 feet. O oh, 60 feet master. Hinukay ko master ang 60 feet. Yung 100,000 mo ngayon, nandun sa, sa ilalim ng 60 feet. Alam mo ang sagot ni Master? Alam mo, Nora, kung hindi ka lang babae, sasampalin kita. Oh, yun ang sagot ni Master. Kung hindi ka lang babae, sasampalin kita. Oh, walang hiya ka. Yung 100,000, nilibing mo 60, 60 feet under the ground. E paano natin hukayin yan? Isang oras? Ang Bible doon, ang sinabi ng Bible doon sa third person, ang sinabi ng Bible ha, you fool. Yun ang sabi ng Bible. You fool. Doon sa third person na tinago yung 100,000. Kung sa Bisaya, sak- medyo masakit ang word eh, sa Bisaya. Alam mo an- an- anong sasabihin ni Master sa Bisaya? Buang-buang ka! Ingnon ka ni Master na buang-buang ka. The moral lesson of the story is this. You know what happened after? Ang sabi ni Master, O oh, Judy, akin na yung 100,000, yung 200,000, sa'yo na yan. O oh, Maribet, akin na yung 100,000, yung 300,000, sa'yo na yan. At ikaw, Nora, na nalibing ka, hala, maghukay ka dyan, na, na 60, 60 feet under the ground. Oh. Oh. At sinabihan pa si Nora, buang-buang ka. Oh. Alam mo bakit? If you can be trusted with little thing, God will going to give you more. You can be trusted with bigger things. Much is given. Ano ngayon? Much is given. Much is required. So in short, you have the talents within you. You've got the talents within you. Now it's going to be your call whether you're going to do those things na natutunan mo ngayon in order to develop those talents you have. And that's what you will present to the master when you meet the master face to face in heaven. Ano bang ginawa niyo doon sa lupa, Judy, Maribet, Nora? Ikaw, Judy, sa lupa, panay ka lang luto ng biko or ikaw, Maribet, panay sensinso ka lang? Ano bang ginawa mo? Ikaw, Nora, wala kang ginawa rin. Oh. Anong sabihin ni Lord? Ikaw, Maribet, anong ginawa mo? Puting-puti na yung mukha mo. Hindi mo ba talaga naisipan na gamitin yung talent, yung gift na binigay ko sa iyo na marunong ka magbenta? Uh, it is God who gives you the ability or the power to get wealth. Ang Panginoon na po ang nagbigay sa inyo. Now it's all up to you if you're going to use all the things that we have learned for his greater glory. Ganun po 'yan. So Tapos na tayo. <laughs> tapos na tayo. Okay? So wala ba kayong tanong? Wala, wala naman sigurong tanong, no? nag enjoy lang ako sa morning na to, eh. Baba ko to para makita ko kayo. I just, I just enjoy the morning, no? In-enjoy ko lang yung morning. Uh, I, had, I, had, I, had, I, had good, I had a good morning, no? I had a really good morning. I, I, I had my, my short devotion. I, I've sung some worship song and, and it feels good. It feels good. No, it feels good. And... Uh, it's it's nice to feel good actually no it's nice to feel good no so ganun lang no so maniwala ka lang para pagdating sa panahon pag commit na natin si master baka si Nora yeah. maghuhukay pa yan ng 60 feet under the ground <laughs> huh? yeah talaga maniwala ka lang god is good all the time alam mo, um, there's no magic in selling. You just have to keep doing. Uh, alam mo, ito, nandito si Maribet eh. Ito si Maribet. Parati kong pitin, pinapanood ang mga video nito pag nag, nag-video to, nagbibenta. Subukan nyo yung mga video selling. 
Gusto nyo ng video si Alin, paturo kayo kay Maribet. Magaling to mag-video. Si Danny yung photographer niya. Oh. Oh. Ma -ma -ma Mahal yung ano niya, kamiraman, si Danny. Oh. Si Danny ang... Effective bang video niya? Oh, effective kayo ang mga video ni Maribet. Ako man yung siyang gisunasundan na yung video. Oh. Oh. Si, da si Danny, si Danny ito yung gisugo ano, og pagkamangkamang o video. Na Danny, uh, aning, aning, aning angle. Matagbaw kamangkamang si Danny, oy. Kita yet yet try. Guys, uh, um, there are so many Ju July, Juna and it's gonna be July. It's it's half of the year. Um, when we started, when we started uh, the year, our theme for the year is run the race. We're still running the race, and the race is not yet over. But the race is not yet over, and and, and I know we will have a good. End in the race. No, we're we'll, we're going to end it well. No, and um, siguro yung yung summit natin parang sa the way I look at it parang hindi matuloy, no? Grabe, ba? Itong COVID, 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 Sa Zoom. You know who our speaker is? Our speaker is is the son of Peter Kairos of 700 Club. Uh, that's our speaker. We have a very powerful speaker for 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 the summit to to tell us about running the race. But in the sense na nagka COVID, um, siguro Zoom na lang siguro, no? I mean that's the only way. Uh, and yeah, okay lang sa Zoom, but that training mga speaker. So, so you know, um, half but of the year. At least, ito si Maribet. Uh, ang dami na itong benta, no? Grabe si Ma Maribet ito. Oh. Qualifier na si Ma Maribet ng ano siguro, no? Ng, ng benefits natin, Bet? Naka 10 million na, Bet? Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Tama. Congrats. Yan. Tama. Kung nga pa na ako halin, sir, ay gusto ko kumahalin. Oh, dapat lang, no? <laughs> Uh, by, the way, by, by the way, si Maribet, uh, nag-qualify na yan doon sa company benefits natin na uh, hospitalization benefit, mortuary benefit, accident insurance, 100,000, uh, retirement benefit, at saka yung one-year pag-ibig premium contribution for housing loan. So, uh, we, we want, we want, we want a lot of people na mag-qualify because yan ang yan ang agenda natin eh yan ang objective natin we want people na syempre naman no pagdating ng panahon pag nag-retire si Maribet may pang-chinsinsu siya na retire si Pan chinsinsu we're really happy pag may, may, may mga mag-qualify kasi si Juliet nag-inform sa akin si Si Evangeline Rojas, nag-qualify na rin. Ito si Judy, konti na lang kulang nito eh para mag-qualify for the... Yes! Damay na lang kayo. Dito si Richard, qualify na to si Richard eh. Okay na good kay. In the right time, God will prepare us different to unman way. So, I believe mang good nga. In the right time, kahalin din tag pila ka million. Mawagin na yung akong dikin ni God. I pray ka na. Mawagin na yung Jude. Ay, kamo no kana naga naga Facebook ads man mo, ah si Maribet naga Facebook ads man. Kana training na to sa Facebook ads sir. Kwa ka mag Facebook ads? Ay, at attend mo sa training aning kan JP Veneracion sa Facebook ads. Kano sa gina sir? Day na Tuesday. Karon Tuesday. Um, actually nakar. Oh, actually, by 20 pesos na itong ibayad. Ah, sige, sige, sir. Pag-attend, naka-attend ko na yung training. Ibalo ko pili bayad, 2-5. 2-5 ang bayad, pero... Sir Jeff, mao ba na ang FB page? Lahi. Mao ng FB page. Lahi. Mao ng FB page, o. Nama ko FB page niya. Huwag na ko gudu. Nindot kayo ang training. Nindot kayo ang training. Tanaw na ko, useful. O niya, kanang matudloan kita. Insyao na ito, inig mag-Facebook ads ta, mag-boosting. 
Yeah. 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 Oh, Hindi ba? na daw pwede ang Gcash karoon. Hindi sila. Pwede raman good. I don't know why nga daghan mo siya. O basta na... Ah, gusto man ko. Ay, imo na bet. Ang sayo mong gamit bet. Hindi nila sa kukuha na kung Gcash sir. Mga pinanang daw. Na ato'y video ka. I-open ka ng 100. Dito daw sa magbayad. Oh, okay. Wala ka mong kuka-open sir. Ako. Ang akong gigamit kay... Ka ng... Union Bank. Ah, uh, uh, sila may ukuan ana sir. Pwede ra mo kuan para boosting? Pwede ra Metro Bank. Actually, actually uh, pwede ra Metro Bank basta na atong MasterCard or Visa. Sa Union Bank, mag-download lang ka sa application sa Union Bank, uh, unionbank.ph. Ini human ni mo download, mag-register ka mo ra'g GCash ba? Ini human mo register, pwede ka mag-request o card. Pwede ka mag-request o card. 150 ra. Ang payment ba sa to eh padala. Oh, ari ra pud sa Kuan, sa Union Bank na kini nga nga application na na Union Bank. Bagwan ni sir mag-download. Oh, mag-download ka. Ya. Mayo no na sir. Ya maghimo kag account nya, ini guma nimo himo og ganang account kanang kung naa kay GCash diha, pwede nimo siya transferan imong account og pwede man siya GCash to Union Bank. Ma-transferan nimo og 150, dayon mag-request kag card, ipadala si mohang card na ra. Na naabot ni last week. Naabdan ko last week. Ay, ilasad ka buwan, sir. Ay, dali na kayo. Ay, 10 days na manggot. Naman naman ko sa Metro Bank, sir. Ang kuwang ako sa Metro Bank. Kay kuwan naman lang. Katong billing na ko sa internet ba. Kaya na naman ko existing account before. Niyang address man. So, matuloy pa ngayon ko. Ay, kinidali kayo. Wala na kay kinahanglan nga. Mga billing, mga na-propo billing. Mag-download na ka itong application. Mura na yun sa GCash. Mas mayroon lang, sir. Oh, so, dali kanya. Mga problema na mo meredit uyaw kay yan jika ko ang dili sa dili kaso sa boosting niya. Ako try na dili tama ko. Oh, boosting kay ah, problema ko sa hapon. Oh, niya. Yeah. Problema ko sa dili kaso go bang 7-11 data ka ka in. Then, sa RD po siya po hindi na dyan ay. 10 days ah, ka siya bet gideliver og LBC. Ah, sige ka oh. na mo download ko na sir. Ma, ma, okay ko niya. At least free raman inig download ni mo. Wala man ka niya. Card raman niya. Kung mag-boost na ka, pwede rin sa Gika si Mungi Balhin na ito sa Union Bank. Gika sa transfer. Sa imo nga, imo nga Juday, kung mag-cash in ka, kung lisod ka sa Palawan, ito kag RD Pawn Shop, nindot ka sa RD Pawn Shop, kayo wala yung linya. Betaw? Ako ito ay... Pwede rin mag-cash in RD Pawn Shop to Union Bank, sir? Pwede rin? Pwede rin, Gika sa... Ang sa RD, ah, GCash ko. So, oh, GCash niya, inig GCash. Akong gibuhat, yan ito kong RD. Ah, i-transfer. Nag-transfer na ako dito sa Union Bank. Ah. So, kung ano man, good code, yes, it's small, sir, ba? 7-11, yun niya. Wala man sila yung connection pag ito na ko ito sa Adlaw. Ah, RD na lang. Dali na kayo. Ako, di, di kayo ko, kung naayang mo padala na ako, di kuha ng Palawan, kaya dagang kayo linya, ma-COVID niya ta. At doon sa RD, kayo 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 RD Ponsa, pagka na si Buana, wala mang kay linya. Pero RD yun, why linya? Asta nang kuan. Villarica Ponsa, why linya? Oh, bitaw no. Dili kayo sila daghan o customer. Dili kayo daghan. So pwede sa Union Bank. Nindot kayo ang sa Facebook ads because ang Facebook ads, Manggod, as low as 40 pesos, Manggod. Lagi, sir. Ang 40 pesos ni mo, ang imong reach via is 1,300 people. Ito ray mo pili. Uy, na 50 pesos. Mabitaw, nag-try ko yung boosting niya. Wala ko kasulod. Kuang kayo ka ng... Awa, kini ha? Namang yun ni si Richard. Hilom-hilom naman ni. Si Richard, kamalong mo pilay halin ni Richard. Richard, tingog diyan, Richard B? Oo, sa FB page. Oo, FB ads na sila. Kato nakahalin sila o 20 lahat sa Homebridge Beth? FB ads to, tanan. Oo, oh, lagi sir. Basta masakting na basta masakto. Oo, oh, basta masakto lang yun siya. Basta masakto oh. lang yun ang FB ads. Ang imuhang, ang imuhang imbutang, ang imong kwarta sulit yun na sa Facebook oh, ads. Lagi. Ang imo lang yun, basta once mag Facebook ads ka, ayo yun siya pa offline-offline. Kinahanglan magdata. Oh, mag-atang dito. Ang mga gusto ko mga pinag-training siya, hindi ko kamao niya. Bakit mo sa kaya mag-boosting ka? Dili, magdadima. Oo, wala. Gahapon siya effect. Oo, effect. Dili, maokay. 
Oh. Oh. Na, so very awaiting moment karong Tuesday. Oh. Sa kusik lang sa kwarta jud. Um ingna ingna ato mga downline labi na sa Facebook ads pinang i-facilitate jud ninyo nya gani ang ato ang atong Zoom ato nang gi-upgrade last night nag-upgrade ko ang atong capacity is 500. Okay, eh, wala na iko answer, wala na nay module ang it be add nga i-send nimo. Wala say module, wala say module. Ah, okay. uh, medyo taas-taas lang siya nga training pero okay ra. Nag-upgrade ta og 500 capacity because last Saturday man go sa ato ang seminar kana daghan kayo ang wala ka suod actually. Mm, daghan. Uh, daghan kayo ang wala ka suod last Saturday. Uh, sobra naman good ta, daghan na kay sa. Sobra man, daghan man. So uh, nag-storya man ni Juliet ni decide ta na ni dugang ta og kanang capacity. Uh, kay ang ang capacity man good kilam tuy na bayad na mo 165 dollars man siguro to last night uh, kay bayran man good din ato so ako da ko dai siya na dako da ko siya pero maura man gihapon ko ako siyang gi-estimate mas dako man pugo gasto ko ni biyahe ko bakolod ni biyahe ko gi-maog good sir correct maog good agree ako siyang gi-balance balance ni Gunjul Dako dako tag mabayad ani Joel monthly basis man eh, kay subscription man pero maura man kwentaha ko sa mo byahe ko minsan bitaw Pero na panatay ka sa joke nga sukad nag online ta grabe ang sales mao gyud ang gain sales Umos pas pas bitaw Mas pas pas lang sales Kay nga no man nas stop mo siya bitaw asa Oh what uh, a limit no what a limit no what a limit Maka, maka what invite a limit. kay ang uban sa unay invite na to mingon ra man ay trabaho mi tapos layo ang office ana uh, di ba Ah, karon wala na no? Bitaw. It's karon accessible naman jud kayo nila. Yung murag ni mas nidaghan sa dagatong ibaligya. Akong feeling. Oh. Daghan bitaw ko. <laughs> akong feeling nidaghan ni baligya kaya ako ang cellphone halos din na maable sa kadaghang group chat. Wala bitaw dito din na maable na ko ang uban oi na sa sila ko pananaw. Lagi na. Di di gid sa ang 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 akong suggestion uh, mo na ako duha gyud na akong Facebook ang kanang DPPI headquarters. Kaya naa diha tanan nga group chat. Ang kining ako ang pangalan, mo ni akong gigamit ta nang mag-post ko magbaligya. Kay di man ako makita ang message kay daghan man kay diring group chat. Nga kinahanglan mo sa kag naay group chat kay para ma update. Ba daghan na din ay siyag tao kay daghan na ito yung mga friend 48 na to. Daghan day sa. Oh, kana si Pastor Perso, yan ko nang downline kana si Sir Denny sa Manila, yan ko nang downline. Ay si Ma'am Lynnet, kaya ha man day na. Oo. Daghan kayo downline si Juliet ay. Lagi kay si Ma'am Limit. Iyaham din na. Niko, ano man din na siya ron. Teka na eh. Mami ito nang nabisi na nabisi na siya. Bisi pag pagwag komisyon. Wag ilang ay ka nang kwa man eh. Ka nang mama ni atong mama ni atong gidesire sa mga tao dyan na kadausan makabild yun bitaw. Bet, daghan na biya kag downline bet. Oo na. Mahali kasi mo, ako mag-invite sila at atinong mga training, pero ako hindi na nga. Ayaw lang makadiscourage kayo. Dulit na din na tayo makahalin. Kinan na lang dito atinong training. Mahali kasi mo, ano yung ganyan ni Ching Kitan? Learn before you earn. Mahali. Diba? Sige lang. Importante lang naalan saan sila dito. Kanang... Di mo ang ginamagdungan o ka-active ko tanan, pero eventually... Sige, ang nag-insad na itong monitor. Pag may encourage na sila. Pag may encourage na sila. So dapat digit mo ang namatog. Magmata. Magmata kita. Nalipay gani ko nga si Kim. Nireply na nako for PKS. Kaya mga nindot kayo lang project ka ron. Malagyan yun o. Kanang... Ang ato mga downline, nagit sila ay point na, ma, na mahikatulog ba. Pero narap po na sila ay point. Mumatara po na sila sa panahon na makita nila na, uy, ang akong upline ba si Marie Bits? Narap ang gihapon. Kuhaan na lang ko ba? Kuhaan na lang ko na. Pero ang upline, dili na nila ikita. Ah, dili na sana sila. Sinan mo na po sila mga kanang mga training, sir. Tuloy lang, tuloy. Laban uh, lang. Ito. At, at least, at least, mar marimayin lang ka na. Marimayin lang. Uh, Mora man importante, limayin ka nun ay. Na at least, at least bitaw, dili bitaw, ma, kuan, mawa, mawa sa sirkulasyon. Mora man guna. Giatake bitaw ni COVID yun pag ayo. Grabe ay. At tanaw na ako, no, uh, sa Cebu, ni grabe naman, daghan naman pong military. O niya gabi, kuhan ko sa mga news na 
Okay. Sila po natin okay. today, pag dili ko na, dili ko na us ang number of cases, uh, ipareha po ta sa Cebu. Oh, isunod bita ta, sir. Mura, exciting. Mura, sa inyo ha, bita, sa Mandawi, wala kayo yung cases, bit, no? Na, after, right? Ang duduwaan, gano'ng ulit, no? Pahinan sa araw, ang sabi-sabi nila. Ay, taga Mandawi, dahil sa Mandawi. Hala mo, o ba? Hala mo, o ba? Wala pagkakasipo close sa office. Dito kalabang nagdawi na. Dito kalabang. Dito kalabang. Wala din ako ha akong incentive sa Lawrenceville. Listen, listen. Wa, maabsa na lang ina siya sa. Ano abtan sa lockdown? Ano abtan sa ko? Wala, oy, wala man sir niya. Pa-pray ni ko ba sa nagdawi. Mahadya ko ba ba sig mga malockdownan ko dito niya. Tunggu aku masuk karantina, patai. Ini ni deposit, deposit apa? Mo 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 reserve okay ra og online kung i really okay mo okay, na really okay online dino ang ako ta ta din nang si Ma'am Kim pud ana nga pwede online na lang akong commission ya pati jud gaya jud nya naabta na sad mo lockdown nya mo tayon siya nga gipalo up na jud na nako ma'am nya basin ko no next week makalis yan sila ko pising ko Pagbalik ninyo ma'am, taas-taas naman po or niya. Hagbay pa to na ko gifine. Ayun siya. Mahuma na, mahuma na sa iyo. Mahuma na sa iyo sa Cebu ang lockdown. Listen to kayo ang lockdown. Most of the offices sa real estate nasa Cebu. Bani. Bani. So dapat kayo ba? Maluya ba sir? Ati yun ako rin kapag nang sabot kaluya. Magbang transfer na lang sila. Parang di ba sabot depression sir ba? Mag TikTok na lang tayo. Mag TikTok na lang tayo. Hay, ginoo, lumalaban na pay mga kaubuhan, daghan. Oy, mo ubo gani ka Juday, ayo pa dungog kay basi kwaon ka sa DOH ha. Bala sir oy, mo ubo jud ko dire sir kay ako ubo up ani COVID. Bala di mas ako magpa-check up no, why ubo ta ko. Sige, pag-uburong ka rin. Mag-ubo-ubo ka rin, Pastor. Malargo ka COVID. Isang way COVID. Maawan lang kayo, sir. Maawanan lang ka. Maawanan lang ka, gamay. Lain mo tutunlan. Positive na ka. Manandigil ka magpadungog na nag-ubo-ubo ka. Maawan lang kayo. Kala dahil matok ang mga kanya mo. Gilo ko tutunlan. Maawan lang kayo. Maawan lang kayo. Terus ya, besar. Ah, nak kau pengen tanya be, nak facilitate nasi kromi ni ngah situation bah. Kat lang mo nak aku kadalik. Actually, I've learned sa inyong, sa inyong communication. Kauan kening, nak sulai napa mu facilitate sa inyong client ngah foreigner sih ya. Tapos, kena sih mag purchase or property or dari sa Pilipinas ba? Diba di man pwede ang foreigner maka maka on uh, purchase sa iyang ngalan diri sa ato kun sa pastor uh, duha sa ka condition uh, ang foreigner kung mopalit siya og condominium okay ra uh, yahang pangalan with single siya walay problema kung mopalit siya property uh, house and lot na naayuta number one qualification actually is uh, Pwede siya kapalit, but married to a Filipina. Oh. Uh, married to a Filipina because in the land title, the both of their names will appear. Sa titulo. Kung dili siya married to a Filipina, uh, dili siya ka-avail. Dili siya ka-purchase. Mm. Ka, ka Except for na ay, na ay mga specific developers right now na... Mm. House and lot siya na pwede palito, pwede i-own sa foreigner, pero ang i-own niya, yung 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 i-own, ang ihatagan siya o certificate of title as condominium. Dili certificate of title as lot. 
Ah, 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 for example, ah, no, for example, no, no. kini handle na project ni Juday nga ah, uh, sa to Juday, Doros. Sa Doros plan. plan. Ah. Oo, oh, oh, sa Doros plan. Hmm. Doon na sila yung mga Doon na sila yung mga house unlock packages. Kunya hmm. kini sa mga house unlock packages, pwede sa ma-avail sa foreigner. Pero ang ihatag na titulo is certificate of title as condominium. Condo certificate ang ihatag. Dili siya, dili siya land title. Uh -huh. Yan. Asa kining primary homes. Ang primary homes dapat sila ingon ana nga pamaagi uh -huh. na kumupalit og house and lot ang ihatag uh -huh. dili land title kon dili certificate of condominium nga title. Mapili lang siya nga developer pastor actually. Diha sa Mindanao murag wala ta sa Mindanao. Sa so, asa pagkakaron. Murag do ata man. Wa ba nay problema ana sir nga ang ilang gi palit nga property or house and lot then condo ang atong ang ilang hibuhaton nga titulo or wala certificate na, of title wala na say wala na say problema pastor because ang iyang ownership region actually uh, in, in, in which ingon man sad siya ang iyang ownership oh. is the katong balay ra mismo ang yuta wala siya appeal sa ownership kundi li, ang panagiya sa yuta is katong member atong nga subdivision for example uh, sa ka subdivision okay. na po ka na po kay balay diha nga kana hmm. siya ang nanagiya sa tibuok yuta anang napo ka buok katupong napo ka balay napo ka homeowners mm. so murag kondo ba so mm. ang imong ipanagiya isa ka turang space nimo which is katura imong balay more to naka stipulate dito sa condominium certificate of course ingon gyud siya na ang imong maon is condominium certificate because your ownership doesn't include the land ang imong ownership mm. is only sa kining space na naa ka sa imong balay oh uh... Kaya so naamasan na dito ay, sa ano? provision. Oh. Pero dilitan ng developers ang naa na. So far, dili sa Cebu, doha lang, primary home, so kining durus land. Mm, kay ang situation ng yan eh, gusto siya mo palit dito sa Buhol, kanang doon o kana doon sa Panglao. Mm. Tapos, di man lagi siya pwede, nagkonsulta ko sa developer dito. Uh -huh. Yung ng developer, nga kuan daw kaning pwede siya maghimog uh, magpatabang sa abogado nga na ay uya baniya may moon nga owner oh sa digi ko digi ko mo ko store because pati oh. pang buwag unya sila ama on lagi <laughs> oh. Dili man sa natras ang foreigner anak sir oh, basta na anak sir. Kanang uh, ako personally dili kay uh. ko o yun anak nga arrangement because number one magilog man gani nang magtiayon sa property inig away kana pa bang uyab pa kaha? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh kanang at that time you, we are putting the client sa naa sa greater risk dili actually si girlfriend na Pilipina. Wala oh. may risk, wala may risk si girlfriend. Ang nailis dire ang ang foreigner man. Ang foreigner gyud mo na yung tan-aw bitaw. Na may reso. Kung imo siyang analyze on, we we are not doing justice to the foreigner. Mao, <laughs> mao. In case na kuan in case na mabulyaso ba niya. Labi na anang uyab pa lang sila nagkita or makakita na ang babae og Pilipino. Unsao naman lang. Mao lagi. Na Doros na na lang kay we bring go pa. Kasi sinana pastor na magka problema oh. later on niya mo balik ba? Ako pong nakita akong gi analyze ang situation ninyo pag yung uyab minyo bulag sa bana ana sa mo sa mo tingko kalisod ba ana nga sitwasyon na, so <laughs> listen to story kay minyo siya bulag sa bana labi na if dili legally jud separated or the husband oh. has a legal claim to the property na nakapangalan sa babae mao gyud na magani uh, so, akong natan-awan so, 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 so samot ang samot ang complication so kung kung imo nang ipadayon nga transaction pastor mo suggest ko mo palit lang kadako sa ka box nga biogesic. Naad na baka sa Doros pastor? Wala, wala. Isa imong so, FB page, oh FB page. Ay kay siguro, siguro ma-advise nato ang foreigner nga kung interesado gyud siya katong pareg arrangement atong sa Doros no og sa kuan nga oh wala may nag-offer din na ko ana oh, oh kondo oh. kondo till di ay kondo na lang kondo na lang sa kuan ba bohol number 1 oh, oh pwede na po to oh pwede na to siya dal on dito 
Okay. Kanang risk go. Actually, ang risk is on on all in the foreigner. So, no, wait, wait, wait. Ang client, di ba? Yeah. No, okay, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Kita mong gigi contact. Oh, yeah. Ano yung ragunin, oh? If that, if that client will be fully satisfied sa ato ang serbisyo, can you just imagine on sa kadaghan ang iyong bitbiton ng foreigner na mo avail? Ano ba? Mao lagi. Uh, Tanaw na to ang uh, what happens after ba? Mm, what happens after? Because kung karon lang oh, kanang piece of property, mm. pwede man siya mapangitaan ng pamaagi, pero katong suggestion sa developer, murag tulibagbag itong suggestion sa da. Ay, listen lang sa ito, ma-approve, sir. <laughs> huh? Pero tulibagbag itong tulibagbag itong suggestion because katong suggestion, it only means one thing, that wakoy labot ni mo oh. magka-problema ka, basta na ako'y halin direct. Pondo na lang yun. Kung bitong i-analyze, kung nga, listen man eh. Oo. Hapit na kumutawag sa kong amigong abogado, magpa-advise ko, pero ko, basin naka-encounter sila sa mga utan na ta. Unsay, para sa ako, uh, gusto man tamuhatag o may yung servisyo sa atong client. Oh. So, Parang yun na naman. Yeah. Mubalik oh. lang yun ka, Pastor. Whatever is right and whatever is noble. Oo, oh, maog yun. <laughs> Ma- Marag yun na, mar- na yung i-check i- na to Pag tanaw ganin ni... Oh. Tanaw ganin ni mo na musukwahi bitaw sa imuhag yung moral standard. Pag oh, musukwahi you know. ganin ang usa ka transaction sa imuhang moral standard, meaning mm. there is something wrong. And it is a oh. transaction na dili siya worth na ipadayon. Meaning trouble lang ang naadiha. Oo, oh, mao. Okay, sayo naman siya right from the very start. Okay. Mm. Na yun naman dito sa inbox sir o sa chat, how to qualify client ko no if you're employed. How to qualify client if Na self, na 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 ma-register jud. So, kita, we don't have problems because our registration is under the 818. But for those individual para na self-employed, kinahangla na yun siya na, eh, technically yun ang self-employment, dapat i-registro man yun siya. Even if doctor ka, even if abogado ka, self-employment man siya, or even vulcanizer ka, na kay tricycle driver ka, kinaman kay form of income. So, papers yun yung hapon, Miss May, no? Uh, dapat makapresent siya o business permit or DTI niya income statement no importante man na ang income statement sir uh, sir Josh sige may um, regarding sa, yes sir um regarding po sa yang kuan kay um wala po siya business per uh, wala po siya business permit or any business establishment na iha ma provide to prove of her income So man ang naglisod ko gabi e eh, unsa on unsa on pag qualify si iya ha since um ko ano man siya wala man uh, self employed at the same time wala pud business mo lang to ako question daw ay sir um, wa- wala ah self employed siya pero wala siya business ah, wala siya business name wala siya business application bale dili siya registered business yes po um ani siya may um, as much as we really wanted no If it's loan, dili gid siya kapasar. Wala gid tayo mapreset nga dokumento for loans. But however, in cases like that na may mga person na dunay kwarta bitaw kay pabot to pay, the only reasonable option we have to ask if the develop, developer offers an in-house financing, meaning oh, right. meaning the buyer will pay directly to the developer. Um, although Kinesia will really incur a much higher interest rate. Uh, compared to the usual pag-ibig or bank na mga loans. So, what project man to me? Ang imong i-offer on ta? Katong ko ando, uh, uh, Sir Joff, katong sa may Pacific Grande. Uh, they will offer uh, in-house, Kung actually. Kung hindi pangot na gabi. Uh, they, they, they offer in-house. Mo, ah, yes. Masugot ra, masugot ra si Pacific Grande o in-house. Um, interest rate is a little bit higher. Pero they allow, they allow in-house financing. Mag-issue lang siya og PDC to the to the developer. So that will solve your problem if it's Pacific Grande. Kung Pacific Grande mo, dawat man siya in-house. So, naka-visit na ka sa Pacific Grande, May? Thank you. Naka-ado na ka Pacific Grande, May?
sir Hello, Josh. Ding. Second, Alam, sir. Naka naka B, naka adto naka sa Pacific Grande. Hello, sir. Yeah, may yes, may naka adto naka sa Pacific Grande. I um, wala pa sir pero magiinra na nako siya. Um, ah, okay. Um they are available there may karon they are open actually na ay na ay uh, in charge marketing staff MWF si Sheila no Sheila Indig so ah, MW, MWF wala, man siya na Ano sabi? Wala Saturday sila Sir Jeff? Ah uh, I think wala uh, I'm I'm not sure I'll, I'll I'll check because the last time na nagpahibaw sila was MWF so probably karon oh, kay oh. na may gamay adjustment basig basig na uh, I'll check then I'll I'll I let you know. Kay ang buhato naman ana dito may basta ingon ana nga mga cases magpa-approve ra na si Sheila. Magpa mag ah, yes, na sila kuan kanang uh, management approval for for in-house financing. So ana lang establish usually ang pangayuan naman ana nila establish lang ang source of income kung naa source of income um di na siya dikot-dikot basta na lay PDC nya nasa siguro sa bangko no? Na definitely nasa sa bangko tingali. Nasa existing bank may. Ako siyang ging, um, wala pa po na ako napangutan na kung nasa existing bank. And then ako siyang ging na nga, um, regarding sa kuan, uh, kay mayingan siya nga mupay na unta siya sa kuan. And then ma'am, uh, hold on lang sa mga uh, uh, reservation payment. And then, ano lang na to i-push through if uh, ma-qualify ka kay Lisod kayo kung ma-forfeit lang yung mga reservation fee. Mm. Yeah. Moto nga, kanang may, may um, ako siyang motong i Nung kung uh, equal, eh, clarify lang po na ako, ma'am, if on sa, sa imuhang case, kung okay lang ba or dili. Kay Bisod, sayang po kayo, sir, kung ma-perfit ihang kung ano dito, sir. Correct. Ayaw yes, lang, ayaw lang, ayaw lang i-push if na uh, dili. Um, so, yung, yung preferences is Lapu-Lapu City only. Preferences. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, sige. Well, I will ask, uh, one of that is, I'm, I'm, I know na kana is Pacific Grande for for in-house. I don't know, ma'am, Lynette is here. Say Kyung is offering, ano, ma'am, no? In house also. Did this mom Lynette? Eh? Nah, with us mom Lynette. Oh, uh, I. Th may may in house financing ang ano mam ang ang Sekyong. Wala na si mom Lynette sir. Because hmm. uh, we we I I have other one and Resort City, Resort City condo offers an in house also. The one that is developed by budget builders. Nag offer po na. I'll, I'll just have to check me, ha. Um, I'll get back to you for the for the in-house. But uh for I should, I should have it, sir. Um ang resort Thank city. You, ang resort city is actually in Gunob. Gunob na diyan. Oh. Uh, it's in Gunob. Resort city residences in that diyan, na? Mm. It's in Gunob. Oh, Oh, for primary home, so Royal Crest sa Subtunggan. Ah, oh, Royal Crest sa Subtunggan. Apo siya ay... Uh, oh, nasa in-house po. All the pre-selling. Nandat po po dito. Oh, pre-selling. Kapag sa kuan, ito na Brookfield, no? Brookfield. Uh -huh. Oh, kana. Mo-offer sa na ang, ang, ang primary o in-house. Pila mo na 16% mo na bet, no? Sila? 10%, yes, sir. Hindi na mahal ang in-house, ang primary, sir. Primary, hindi na. No? Oh. Kana, pwede po siya may uh, katong sa Sutunga na sa primary homes. Kung nahan na sa DECA, 5. Oh, nahan sa DECA, 5. Tapad na sa Brookfield, Jude. Tapad sa Brookfield. Oh, tapad. Oh. Anyway, sige na mag-contract. Oh. Ka, I know. Ito na may anang ko answer ka nang sa Brookfield, uh, una sa Brookfield, kay uh, uh, naman may uh, nag-OJT sa una pagka-college. Ah okay. Um anyway, ang mga buyers soon makasabot man sila if there are delays sa uh, construction. Makasabot ra sila because sa situation na gi-face ron tanan. So, if eh, ino na na to na ongoing ang construction on ya nalay mga slight delays because of COVID. So, makasabot ra na sila. Ang ilang after ana is uh maka-avail lang ba, no, maka-avail. So, kana day may sakto primary sakto nang ikaw ni Maribel. Uh, studio units ni sana dia. Thank you, Kairi, for your recommendations, sir, ma'am. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so bye bye. Kita na lang tarong hapon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Kung yun say na arong hapon. Mega world. Mega world, bakolod. Bakolod, bakolod. Bye bye. Bye bye.